Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. Wherein I was just running through the many, many constant combinators that I may need to update. I probably should have just set the, uh, knowing that I would upgrade to the the larger cargo wagons and fluid wagons, I probably should have just used the larger provide and request stack thresholds, uh, provide and request thresholds to begin with, but here we are. Um, I won't be spending too much time on stream just going over that, but suffice to say, uh, it's, it's a lot. It's not difficult. Uh, each individual combinator isn't exactly time-consuming, but there are hundreds. So that's fun. Costco Taquitos, Bilbo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so first thing I want to do is continue to replace all of our old trains. And I think we're going to need far fewer uh, trains to get the job done. Well, I, I don't think. I know we're going to need a lot fewer trains um, to get it all done, actually. Um, I might try what I talked about earlier, whereby I'm just going to make it so that the trains can't leave the old depots. I can't stop them from getting scheduled with new, um, new LTN schedules, but I'm hoping just, you know, killing their schedule like the, no, just killing their schedule like this, I'm hoping LTN will understand that those trains are out of the picture. If we send them back to the depot. Got a crypto scam ad when coming into the stream? Bruh. Didn't think Twitch had those. I should hope not. Fancy looking trains, indeed. They are very, very, very fast. Um, judging by, by the fact that LTN is able to schedule... Um, uh, this train, as soon as I clear its schedule, other than... Uh, as soon as I clear its schedule, other than going to the depot, it gets a new schedule, often. Uh, I think LTN does know that that train is no longer appearing at that destination. Um... Looks good, fantastic. This is a much quicker way to get this done. Although I do need to drop off some solid rocket fuel that I've accumulated here. Okay. Should probably turn off this station if I haven't already. I thought those were like batteries on the ground or something. And whoop. I gotta be really careful about where I stand. Whoops. What did, what else did I just pick up there? Power pole. And no doubt we're going to be a bit short on trains, even if all of the trains that I've added are super fast. Um, we'll sort that out soon, though. We only have, like, 50 or 60 regular old trains to cycle out. And we're going to need far fewer than that to keep up once we replace them with the new trains. 
What? Where are you going? Oh, I didn't remove this one. Oh, right, I forgot. If I just remove... I could have removed far fewer signals to make this work. Wow, that's fast. Alright. Stop giving it new schedules for a second. Thank you. Let's go drop off this stuff. And I probably don't need to be carrying this many prod modules for the moment. But I especially don't need to be carrying this many trains. Oh, I forgot to change the schedule on this one. Um, does this work? Yeah. Okay. I f totally forgot to remove the schedule. I hope... I hope LTN can figure out what's going on with that one. I should think so. Nope. Would you stop with the new schedules? Thank you. And it looks like we're starting to run out of old trains. Fantastic. Whoop. And one more for now. Cool. No doubt. LTN will be struggling a little bit with the number of trains we have for the moment. Uh, let's go ahead and put some new ones into service. Brazer K, John, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Swapping the base to space trains, indeed we are. Um, although we do have a few... Oh no, this one's just... How is it I asked for 100k here, and we ended up overfilling this? I wonder. Um, if I link them, it'll kind of solve the problem. Let that fluid flow in both directions. Oh. Wait, I'm looking at the wrong spot. Where's this train stuck? Here it is. There we go. Oh, there's no... Wait, what? Request threshold... 50k... Yeah, it's fluid only here. Never mind. So what the hell? If we're asking for 100k maximum, how did it get more than double that? I am the sky? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, this is looking a little bit over full. 8,000 over 50. 160 stacks. I only asked for 160 stacks here, and we can fit more than four times that. What? How did this get... How did this get overfilled? Ravna. Let's do a even distro. And that should create enough room over this side. Really don't know what's going on with some of these trains lately. 
I kept having trains trying to pick up petroleum down here when there wasn't actually enough petroleum as well. Anyway, um, I think I would like to, I'll let, I'll let this train leave and then after that, I don't want any more vanilla trains leaving the old depots. For the double length one. So we've got a double length depot here, a double length depot up here, and I already converted this one. And I think that's it for train depots, other than this vanilla thing that is there for the space elevator stuff. Which is honestly probably fine for now, considering the throughput and everything. Um, and I'll also need to do a short depot for the fast trains. But I think I'll worry about that last. Okay, so there's no one in this depot. And we got three whole trains parked up here. And apparently a bunch of stuff to build. Oh wait, I turned this into a new depot. When did I do that? I totally forgot about that. Um, well, it needs to have the new station names, regardless. If I really have gotten rid of all the old uh, vanilla trains already, I haven't. There's some traffic jams. I kind of expected something like this. Um, all right. I think uh, I think we really should make sure we go and clean up all the old trains now. This one is. Having some trouble getting loaded? No, it's actually full. What? Oh, wait, what? It's trying to pick up copper? H how? How did you... How did you come here for copper? I... I am very confused by this. Um, how about you just go drop off iron somewhere? Hopefully we've got somewhere that can fit. It looks like we'll be fine. I think LTN may have had some issues. Yeah, I don't know. I mean... Because these stations have the same names with the lazy mines, I could see if the temporary stops are somehow removed, then they'll just go to the nearest one. Um, and I could see how that would happen, but I don't know how that particular prerequisite condition would occur. But it looks like all these ones are moving now. What do we have here? Provide stack threshold 100. Off you go. Same thing here. And here. And here. And I don't know how... I don't know how we scheduled 
Oh, there must be a bunch in here, and it's not pushing it to the front. Yeah, yeah, I see the problem. Okay. Um, just balance those two like that. Should be fine. Uh, I'm gonna have to physically go over there to... redistribute those resources, though. Did we get some more? How did we only have one train come back to the depot so far, since I did all that? Well, this is kind of an opportunity to catch a bunch of little bugs as well. Why am I still holding this many wagons? Okay, so I was going to iridite core fragments, and we're just going to even distro across here, and find that actually there isn't enough room. Whoops. So many stuck trains? They're not stuck, they're just temporarily not in mo motion. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I gotta be extra scared of rail tracks these days. Trains can just come out of nowhere. Resting trains, indeed. Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so all of these are being limited to 50 stacks instead of 40. Uh, this one doesn't really matter. May as well do this lot while we're here. That's actually already correct. Copy, paste. And provide stack threshold 100. Oh. Who's next? I see a few stuck trains with uh, copper down below. What happened here? Oh, I see. But just... I don't know how you thought there was 4k here, but off you go. That one's completely empty. What's this train doing? You are looking for iron and you came to copper. Well, that's not good. Where's the nearest copper drop-off? Very close by, actually. Um, how about... Wait, wait, wait. That's not... That's not a copper drop-off. That is molten... Uh, or rather, enriched copper. Enriched copper... Do I really only have one build for this? Here it is. Oh, it's a double build. Oh, I need to put prods in this. Uh, like yesterday. Alright, but first I'll, I'll send this train there. Go empty there. And then... These should be set to... I think anything greater than zero probably works, to be honest. And that'll work well regardless of stack size. Alright, you are trying to drop off copper, fantastic. Let's go prod mod and beacon our enriched copper build. And we'll check the ratio 
for how many ingot smelters it's trying to support. Apparently we are rather short on prod modules. Um, I think I've said this before, but I'm tempted to boost the priority of this one. However, that would mean we're not prioritizing uh, Pyroflux as much, which I really don't want Pyroflux to stop. Why is this backward? Oh yeah, I remember. That kind of makes sense, actually. Right stack threshold 160. Fair enough. That should work okay, except set the back one to 5 times 10 stacks. Um, Alright, without further delay, let's go module up our enriched what kind of rate are we getting right now? Uh, 144 per second. And if we didn't beacon after this, we'd be down to uh, a bit less than half of that. Oh. Why did I think one beacon would cover all of this? Maybe it could have if I put them close enough together? I... Supplying the water for that would be rather difficult. Alright, that should just barely... Negative uh, 60% power consumption. I can live with that. And... Let's see if the belts can keep up. 100 copper per second is actually slightly too fast. We've got 90 copper per second that can come in here. Uh, so, one more efficiency. That'll put it to minimum power consumption. And a little bit under what the two belts can supply. Perfect. Assuming we could keep bringing copper in that quickly. Bump up the thresholds. Here comes some copper. We've got like four per second more than... The belts can supply four, most, four per second more than the machines can consume. So it'll actually take a little bit to saturate. Probably almost to the point where the train load is gone. Actually. Maybe not that long. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. It might actually take two train loads in a row for this to saturate because of how the machines will take enough resources for three recipes. Individually, they do... Uh, 3.6 per second input each. So yeah, the inserters aren't having trouble keeping up. Output's not a problem, is it? It might be. Wait, how fast is the output? 53 per se- oh, it's more than a belt. It is actually more than a belt for each column for output. I do have the technology for higher level belts, I just have to spam Immersium gears at them. Um, but I think I'd rather put that off until I have a reliable supply for Immersite. Um, especially considering we'd actually have to saturate copper for this to be an, a problem, which 
isn't going to happen for a little while. This is fine. Okay, any more stuck trains in this corner of the map? That's just a depot. Um, what about over here? What's going on over yonder? Oh, they're oversupplying again. Yeah, I request 32k. This can take 16k, this can take 16k, and this is like two more cargo wagons. Uh, especially with the old cargo wagons. And yet, somehow, LTN has oversupplied this. Um, well, I've got this old container because of this old mine. Let's uh, even distro and put all this in here. That's one way to solve it. Um, and I'll just dramatically reduce the requests here. And there should be one or two more trains coming in. Why? How? How is train looking for stone trying to coming to pick up copper? Uh, these stations should have names. That would probably help. Don't know how they ended up not having names, actually. Stone, active provider, or rather stone and mineral water. I mean, technically... The names should never matter with LTN except for the depots, but something's going weird with the temp stops, it seems like. Um, and this is coal active provider. You can go drop off at... Copper. And there's probably a few trains coming here now, aren't there? Or, or, or are they actually, though? What are you looking for? Crude oil. That actually works. Alright, good. Uh, this should be raw rare metals and pyroflux. Pyroflux. I need to do the stack sizes here as well. And this is uranium ore. That should be the same for all of these, unless they don't have fluid. And it doesn't really matter though. Uh, and this should be iron and water. Surprised I didn't just vent the water. I guess having a more nearby water pickup doesn't hurt. Okay. What's your deal? You're looking for cryonite rods and they're all in here. Wait, that's interesting. Oh, did we allow short trains here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't... I didn't set this up right. Or I, I updated it wrong, I think is what happened. We allow short trains to pick up cryonite rods, and we're not pushing from the back to the front. Is the problem. Uh, but let's... That's a good high provide threshold. That's fine. Does LTN account for resource locations slash path length? Uh, I believe it does try to give, uh, try to assign trains that are closer in depots, for example, among other things. 
Well, I can't just not update these while I'm staring at them. That's the same on both sides, right? There we go. Um, that's interesting, because on this side I did do that correctly. I guess I just didn't remember to update this in the same way. This one's also looking for Cryonite. Wow, that must have been keeping trains stuck here for a long time. It's basically reporting like half a bulk rail loader of Cryonite rods that effectively don't exist until I fixed that. Okay, no stuck trains out in the sticks over here. And Fantastic. What's this guy doing? That's the decon train. You're waiting for this to be resolved. You're trying to pick up pyroflux that isn't there. How did you do that? Provide threshold 51k. Yeah, I... I don't know what happened. There should have... had to be... two fluid wagons worth of stuff in there before a train was able to be scheduled. Very weird. Alright. You know, I can't ever see Pyroflux getting over full from core mining. Um. Oh yeah, and I wanted to update these. Let's leave a little more room. Just to make sure. I want to redesign this anyway. Even if it worked exactly the same way, I'd like to make it work a bit better aesthetically because this is this is an absolute mess to look at and try and decode, even for me, and I made it. But for now, I'm just trying to get everything sorted again. This one's also dropping off Pyroflux. How much Pyroflux have we got lying around all of a sudden? Or is it because I fixed something somewhere? Let me just check these station names as well. That looks pretty good, actually. So it's just the vanilla core fragments that were a problem. Okay, speaking of which, I never prod moduled them. It's about time, let's do it. Uh, how many beacons have I got at the moment on my person? Two? I think I'll focus on the core fragments. Um, since I only have two of them, I'll prioritize the vanilla core fragment processing over the crinite core fragment processing. But I'll go upstairs and get some more in a sec. Right. Don't tell me we're actually out of prod modules now. Oh no. Let me go grab some vulcanite blocks. Captain Tree, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Seems to be an issue with fluid pickup that LTN is fussy about. Yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Perhaps. 
just going to steal a bunch of Vulcanite blocks, drop them straight into module production. Uh, not in there. That's where the modules themselves go. There we go. So, why are we not making modules right now? Because there's no sulfur? Wait, what? Oh, no. Um, sulfur is catching up. I realize we are at a point where we need about a billion sulfuric acid because we're trying to saturate the new train batteries, basically. Um, I don't think we're going to need that much throughput overall for our new train batteries, but to saturate the places requesting them, it's going to be a lot of batteries. Uh, I think I should go steal some sulfur, though, because prod modules are obviously pretty important um, to the whole getting things saturated cause. Let's just go drop that off in the same place. Fantastic. Alright, um, do we have any beacons up here? We have five. We're waiting on basic beacons. Uh, I can just get that from the auto crafter. Right, small electric, red concrete, steel. Uh, yes. Do I actually... Yep, yep, there we go. There's actually 81 energy catalogs in here as well. Um, yeah, I should probably take some of those for this. Uh, so we're trying to make basic beacons. At least a couple so that we can... Uh, automate the wide area beacons. So by the time I get up there, there should be a few wides. And by the time I come back here, there'll be a few productivity modules. Fantastic. Should I do anything else right now, or should I just go straight up there? 32,000 sand. Okay, no, it's not stuck. Good. Thank goodness for that. That's that's the only trouble with the uh, bulk rail loaders and unloaders. You can't see at a glance if they're working. Nitric acid is not getting dropped off. Because... Be because why? The train is at the station. Oh, the pumps are connected. This pump is connected. This pump is not. What the hell? Oh. Oh. When did I break that? Probably because I had a power pole. What kind of build is this? Holmanite. Um, can I reach that across? No. If I connect it to this red wire, is that going to cause a problem? Uh, plastic... Less than, yeah, it's going to... When, when it's dropping off a solid, it's going to report a big number for each of these resources. Um, I guess I could piggyback across... These bits of belt. There we go. Um, yeah, 
That's obviously since I updated it to the lighted substations. Because even though I looked for it, I didn't spot that there was actually a bit of wire connected by old power pole. Fantastic. And you are trying to pick up this Hulmanite. What's what's your deal? You're looking for stone? <laughs> Okay. I think as much as I like to try and minimize the work with the lazy mines, I should probably give these stations names um, in future. Okay, wait till empty. Off you go. And you're looking for Holmanite. Good. Fantastic. You're also looking for Holmanite. Okay. Let's go get those beacons and prod up the uh, core fragment processing. Make sure we've got all the core fragment processing areas prodded. And beaconed. Get the most out of our resources. It looks like advanced assembly machine research has been stopped for a minute. No, it's still going. Alright, give to me the wide area beacons, please. And you can have these basic beacons. Uh, 25 plus 9, that's, that's a good haul. And let's go back downstairs. Was that plastic? Yeah, I should probably prod that. Wait, I need to pick up some prods. We don't have that many right now. We need like... 4 times 16 or something. Uh -oh. Now what are we short on? Sulfur again? After I dropped off all that, I only get 41 prod modules? Jeez. And we do reach zero, just barely, on this petroleum. I'm actually asking for 190,000. So it's not that we're waiting too long to request it. All right. Um, I was going to do the vanilla core fragments first. How many do we have left? 17. That's not enough. What's this? Plus 20% power. I don't think we need to go that fast. Minus 70%? Fine. So this can deal with up to 20 core fragments per second on each side. That seems a bit much. Like, that, that might be more than we need for now. I'm okay with this. Uh, but maybe I should, like... I really just need more prods. Let's let's get the sulfur. I'll give it another manual delivery. I can't believe all the sulfur I could carry um, only got me like 40 uh, prod modules. I 
Okay. In we go. So it's a whole stack of sulfur for one prod two. And then two stacks of sulfur for one prod three. So one whole train load uh, only gives us one stack. Yeah, one train load of sulfur with the new trains gives us one stack of productivity modules. That is a little bit brutal. I could probably put a beacon here now. I mean... We're definitely going to be resource bottlenecked. But I would just like to have a few more prods right now. And may as well. Okay, so how many do I need for this block? Do I have a pulverizer here? Nope. Can I check with ghost? No, I think the module inserter. We need two stacks. We have a third of one stack. And we're only going to get a few more. Well, the thing is... The thing is, though... Productivity bonuses over here are actually not very important just yet. Because we can easily get more cryonite core fragments. We've actually got this saturated. Um, and we're bottlenecked on getting rid of cryonite powder. Um, cryonite powder goes over here. And cryonite rods. Acquire cryonite... Basically, cryonite powder plus heavy oil. Heavy oil in very small amounts. One per cryonite rod. A bit of steam. Well, steam's basically just electricity. So cryonite plus a small amount of heavy oil. Can kind of discount the oil. Um, didn't I have a storage for cryonite rods, or...? No, we've got the cryonite powder here. And yet... I, I don't actually have a way to delete the cryonite powder. I mean, I can probably put it in a crusher, but it's probably going to be too slow. Hmm. Hmm. How do I keep these cryonite core fragments moving? I thought I solved this already. Needs to go in a crusher. There's no other way to delete it. Well, no other direct way. And that's all we're getting prod module wise. But it, it really doesn't matter. I'm realizing we don't need the prod modules for cryonite core fragments at this stage. What we need is to remove the excess. So that we can keep getting regular core fragments out of it. Uh, 
But I may as well prod module up this plastic. Except I'm sure we don't have nearly enough prod modules. Oh well, let's do what we can. And I'll do what we did at that other build. Uh, in order to fix the pipes. I'm just realizing as well, uh, we may have done a little fucky-wucky at that other build. Because the bottom middle of it might not be getting fluid. Seems good. What would our rate be here? We've got... 48 machines. And we can do... 4 belts of plastic out. Blue belts. 1.34k petroleum. Alright. That's decon plan, are you absolute derp? Um... I should make a blueprint book for my upgrade planners. And how much are we looking at for input? 12 times... Yeah, input's easy. For the coal. Um, but we do want to put stuff on both sides of the belt. Looks like we're doing that. Fantastic. Individually, these are... 3.47 per second. I wonder if the fast inserters can keep up with that. Don't upgrade the pipes. There we go. And then... That's it. I think. Where's that other build that had a similar shape that I added a beacon to? Is this it? No. I think it was up to the north east somewhere. We've also got another plastic build over here that needs upgrading. Um, was it sulfur? No. What row of chemical plants build did I add a beacon to yesterday? Oh, no, not explosives. It's something with fluid in, but not like this. It's like fluid in and fluid out. Not this one. Hmm... I'm actually kind of stumped. Oh, 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 was it... No? No, I did that today. What could it be? I feel like I've been everywhere. Oh, was it batteries? It was batteries. Yeah, this, uh... Oh, this is, this is still getting sulfuric acid. Because it just goes through there. Yeah, 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 I didn't have to add anything. Alright, well, that was kind of silly, but I'm glad I double-checked. This is fine. Looks like there's more petroleum on the way. No path? 
Oh, these are the old trains. I didn't know we had that many left. Wow, we've got a lot more left than I thought. Alright, let's go get them out of the picture. This block. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Imagine how long it would take if I wasn't trapping the trains in the old depot. <laughs> schedule still exists. No, I think that's fine, actually. Yeah, no, no, as long as it's doing the green bar of inactivity, uh, we know the train is at the depot, and LTN should understand that it's, like, back. I think. Running out of this storage space again. Did I turn this off already? Yes, I did. And one once again. these ones gone, and we have more than a few over here as well. Let's drop off our stuff, and come to think of it, um, I'm dropping off all this solid rocket fuel in a place where we're producing something that has far less demand these days. Oh well. Drop that off. I don't know why it doesn't drop off all of these extra cargo wagons and stuff when I shift C. And it should only take another one or two more iterations of removing the old trains. Nope. Oh, God damn it. Go to depot. There you go. LTN will consider it lost after 10 minutes anyway, right? I actually set that to the highest number I possibly could. So it's like 10 hours or something. It's 10 hours with my settings, yeah, exactly. Because otherwise, whenever you get a traffic jam, LTN just starts sending more and more trains into it. After 10 minutes. 
despite any train limit settings on the station. Surely there must be only like five or ten more old trains in the system now. Surely. Bonk? Left some cargo wagons on the floor. Uh, true. Zim, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's an old train. What's it doing? It is trying to drop off all of its pyro flux, and for some reason this is full. Even though we... Okay, to be fair, we did request 200k Pyroflux here, but that shouldn't be enough for LTN to oversupply it, in theory. What's this other train doing? Picking up stone? Fantastic. If it's only looking for 4k, it means I haven't updated this. There we go. And what's your deal? Trying to pick up copper that just isn't there. Why are you like this? Bunk was a bit harsh, but there's no for your timely relevant information. Is that not what Bunk is? Should I add a hey listen? Alright, I think... I mean, I'm sure there's one sneaking around somewhere, some old train. But give or take, the only vanilla trains we've got left are the ones that go up and down the space elevator. And for now at least, they have more than enough to keep up with throughput. Nice. Let's go add some new uh, fast trains. Hey Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Add an excuse me, sir. I, I don't know. I don't know. How many prods do we have now? Six? Uh, 101. That's better than a beard. At least we are seeing sulfur flowing all the time. Judging by how empty I keep finding this container, I don't think doubling it is going to help. I also don't think we really need more than this block. Uh, in the long run, like, at the moment. It's, like I said, it's really just that we're trying to catch up with a obscene amount of battery production, which will plateau off. Well, not plateau. The amount of batteries we're consuming is going to crash um, once we catch up to our train battery recharging depots. Alright, up to the mall upstairs we go. Maybe I should make an updated mall 
close to the space elevator. It's not that long of a trip though. Um, and I wanted to drop off these for making the wide area beacons. Uh, I'm sure 50 will last me a good while. Let's just hold a couple of stacks of those. Drop off the old trains. And pick up some new trains. So, I haven't ex exactly been keeping count. But I think we've got about 10 regular fast trains and like 5 fluid wagons. It's probably a higher ratio of fluid wagons than we necessarily need. Uh, but for now, I'll just add uh, 5, 10, oh no, sorry, 5, 10 more trains. Uh, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, yeah, this is 20... No, it's not. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 16, 20... Huh? This feels wrong. One locomotive is five of these. So this is four locomotives. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. Oh, it's I'm comparing four and five stacks. Duh. Uh Pappy Gout, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, uh I want to focus on regular trains right now. Or the the new regular trains. Let's go get them into the depots downstairs. Having fun with Arcospheres, trying to find reverse sequences just for fun. Running folding th number three twice, folding four twice, and inversion number two will once will revert Naquium processor. Reverse? Wait, revert Naquium processor? Oh, as in revert the Arcosphere folding that Naquium processor does. Veldek is a juggler expert, indeed. Maholic, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's go over to the new depot. Um, we've already kind of built this one as a new depot as well, but I don't want to demand even more of trying to saturate the batteries yet. Also, where are the batteries coming from? Um, I don't remember where I built it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. How many do we have here? 17 stacks. But we're still looking for an obscene amount of batteries before we get 50 stacks of those. Um, considering just how many batteries this is, and it's taking us a while to get there... I think I'll make sure on the new depots for the drop-off for discharged batteries. I'll set it as low as we can. So basically, we'll probably only ask for a drop-off if this is empty, or very nearly empty. 4,000. Um, That's 66.67 stacks. Yeah, I think 3,000 was exactly a train load. So let's go for like... One train load plus one stack. Because by the time this actually empties, uh, there'll, there'll still be some on the belt. Alright. Well, that'll be enough to fuel up our new trains anyway. Did I blueprint these? I believe I did. Fantastic. Let's try not to... 
you know what? Uh, down this end, I might just forbid trains from entering for now. And now we know this is safe. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. I was gonna do ten, wasn't I? Um, tell you what, block off coming back into this one as well for now. Where was that blueprint? Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and I'll just carefully add this one. And we'll go and do all the electric engine things. I forgot to bring the electric engines! No. Alright. Let's put the solar panels in, at least. So we need 10 times 7, no, 20 times 7, 140 uh, of the advanced additional electric engines. I believe I set the limit for this requester at 140. Yes, I did. Fantastic. Those advanced assemblers are amazing, indeed. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, having some super powerful assemblers for on the ground. And late game I'll probably convert a hell of a lot of builds to using those just to improve UPS. We're doing quite well for UPS, though. Hasn't dipped below 60 at all, except for when placing a signal forces every train to repart. Oh, God, that's scary. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, I th think that's all of these placed. Let's go get 140 advanced electric engines. Heart attack averted. We're playing Darkest Dungeon now. You can get very compact builds, I can imagine. I'm not too worried about compact, just reducing the machine and inserter and everything count. Just because we have to do so much in space exploration. Um, did it eventually choose into the UPS? But since we're gonna since we're gonna need far fewer trains, um, I imagine that's gonna have an impact. The only trouble is the effort that we have to individually put into each of these trains to get them started. Uh, where's the depot? Up here. Alright. That's one. I shouldn't have to worry too much about making sure I don't miss any of them. Because I should be out 
of additional electric engines the moment that the job is complete. You know, considering how long it takes for all of these trains to get loaded up with batteries, I know it's because they take 60 each in each locomotion, uh, locomotive, but I, I don't necessarily think having all these battery charging packs is that overkill. Rocket Tom, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Wait, space trains on regular tracks? Yes, indeed. Yeah, the tracks, other than the fact that space rail is required to work in space, uh, the difference in the tracks is only cosmetic. I'm kind of glad, to be honest. Uh, unless there was an upgrade planner to, repl to replace the rail... I think if there was an upgrade planner to replace the rail, I would eventually replace it all with space rail, just because it looks nicer. Somehow I thought the rules for, for trains too? Nope. We can have nice, fast, super fast, actually, trains on the ground. High speed rail for the win. High speed and massive acceleration. <laughs> cool, I think that is all of them. Um, but now I have to wait a little while, or force it, to make sure they all get uh, some battery charge. But I can go ahead and put these signals back at least. And I didn't actually block this one. Cool. Is this one ready to go? Pretty much. Right. Well, we just have to continue spamming sulfur to get our battery saturated. But they they literally 99% get reused, and then the 1% that doesn't get reused, we just have to give it a little sulfur and a battery to fix it. So once we once we're actually saturated, they're gonna be incredibly cheap. We're just taking our sweet time getting there. I want to make sure I set the same threshold up here. It was 3060. Just over one cargo wagon. Because we really don't need to have this many. Oh, we really, really don't need to have this many sitting in uh, this container. I'm going to go get some. New objective for me now, indeed. Yeah, I'm very pleasantly surprised that my idea that not only would the trains be faster, they're also more fuel efficient. Um, with these uh, advanced additional electric engines, you're basically paying this electricity for extra acceleration and speed. Um... So, you don't pay any extra fuel to get said speed, so the fuel actually goes a lot further. It's kind of like a hybrid vehicle, I guess. Oh. I might come back here for this as well. Because we really don't need to be spending a few more million sulfuric acid uh, just to double plus oversaturate our uh, space train power packs. 
especially when we're going to be making a couple more depots like this. There we go. Um, I also want this one requesting slightly more than one short train of space train power packs. It doesn't have any yet, though. Uh, and I want to make a short train depot. Like, I'll probably replace the old short train depot as well. Uh, just one depot for the short trains for this should be way more than enough. But yeah, we'll give that some time. I'll come back. And when when all of these have stopped flashing. Okay, that's close enough. Uh, when all of these have stopped flashing, we'll send our trains on their merry way. You're ready to go. You're ready to... not quite ready to go. The thing is that sulfur demand is eating into our prod modules as well. Oh, it's not looking as bad. Hold on. Did I... I did do a refurbish place in space. Um, but I didn't do one down on the ground here. I think I'll do it up here. I just need a recycling, which surprisingly enough I can't handcraft. Um, bring me one of those, please. Yeah, what? Wait, what did I just? There we go. So we just need. Lithium, sulfur batteries, dead power packs, and sulfuric acid. I'd like to borrow the sulfuric acid, uh, the batteries from here, if I can, without messing up this belt. Um, I could also just put the drop off for sulfuric acid here. probably connect that directly. I can definitely do it with steel undergrounds. So sulfuric acid, lithium sulfur battery, and space train power pack. Uh, and out comes regular discharged. And we can just put that there. So then I'll just add a drop off here for the destroyed um, space train power packs. Easy enough. And we're going to need some Power. Is this mine still? Yes, it is. Still active. Should probably prod module. Oh, wait. Yeah, we've got a few prods. I should probably want to that. Yeah. 
And I should also add the logic that we've learned. Um, this should, this can probably just be anything greater than zero. I should really update this blueprint as well. Also, also, I think it's probably a good idea to name these stations. Alright, so we're going to output uh, provide threshold 1 in the event that Holmium uh, Holmanite in the event that Holmanite equals 0. Oh, I forgot I can make this generic if everything equals 0. And we're just going to read from the minus. Connect to here. And connect this to here. So once there's zero hominite available to be mined, um, there's actually nothing on this side already. Can this reach? Yes. Uh, once there's no Holmanite to be mined over here, uh, provide threshold will drop to one, because we're not just giving it a provide stack threshold. And same thing on this side. Actually, nothing here. I don't suppose that can reach. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, it kind of can. Cool. I kind of want this stuff picked up as a priority as well. So that we could clear up this half a block or so sooner rather than later. Alright. We need to make this a requester. I should probably update this blueprint already. Standard pickup. Standard requester. Pick up plus drop off. Active. And finite resource. 100 stacks, 60k fluids. Is going to be our default. from this point on. Uh, and I'm going to have the requester stations default to off as well. Just to be safe. Cool. Select new contents. Select new contents, select new contents, and so on. Beautiful. Much easier than doing it a hundred thousand times. Um, but we don't need the fluid threshold this time. Uh, so we need 3,000 destroyed... Space train power packs. Uh, in other words, one cargo wagon. Short trains only. And we'll read from this. I wonder how many destroyed we have already. 32. That's not a whole lot. Uh, 
Um, but yeah, that should be everything we need to completely cycle all the batteries. And it looks like we do have enough discharged packs for quite a while. Looks like more of our trains are ready to go. Fantastic. What about you? You're pretty much ready to go. This one's probably lacking a few. Actually, no, you're full. I should probably just mouse over them to see the batteries. This one has four and zero. This one has 46 and zero. All right, that's going to take a little while for the last couple of these to get saturated. What's our rate again? It's like two recharged batteries per second, right? No, it's 1.18 or 1.19. So it's going to be about... Uh, like three or four minutes before these two trains are completely loaded. Because it's going to happen in order. I just want to get a peek as well at exactly how fast we're going through this fuel. I think we're looking at the wrong locomotive. We're looking at the one at the back. There we go. Yeah, I think we're probably fine in terms of how quickly we can recharge batteries at these depots. Request sulfuric Remind acid. Good catch, thank you. Is a slow and insidious killer. Indeed. Uh, provide threshold. I mean, request threshold. 60,000. And sulfuric acid. Uh, but I only want to request it if it's basically empty. since we're really, really not going to go through sulfuric acid that quickly here. Alright, cool. Pumps? What do you mean pumps? Oh, pumps, pumps, pumps. For a second there I thought you meant, like, we clearly need to be able to pump the sulfuric acid quickly towards that machine. <laughs> Which... We don't. Um, have the construction train stop here. I'm sure five seconds will be enough to get that done. Schnutsky, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Fantastic. Okay. I just want to check how our self, uh, petroleum is doing. It's actually saturated since we, uh... Since we beaconed our oil. Maybe I should do another block. We've got one spare right here. Uh, for sulfur, but sulfur needs a ton of water, so I'd like to have it on the coast. Maybe here would be good? Um, and I can obviously move the water pickup. Yeah, I think, I think we'll put another sulfur build right over there. Could you look at the production of depleted packs on the production chart to get an idea of usage? Uh, sure. Um, if you missed it earlier, I already did look down here. Uh, and we've made 36 destroyed power packs on the ground since we started using these trains. 
Um, so it's really quite slow. But wait, where am I going? Where am I going? Let me just drop here. But yeah, destroyed. Um, power packs. Over the last 10 hours, 0 0.1 per minute. Not a whole lot. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit faster than that uh, when things get going. Okay, do not forget, I need to make another water pickup station after this. And I'm going to want some landfill. At least over here. I'm going to need more than this. Um, I know where to pick some up, though. It's actually really close by. Let's do a little bot fishing. Rescue the fishies. And here's our landfill. Might need more than that. It's very, very easy to run out of landfill. Actually, let me do it with the nav set. So I can see more or less exactly how far we need to go. Oh, you know what I should do? Especially since I've got a bit of a better idea how to use the editor now. Let's jump into the editor. And I'm going to place a... Uh, I'm going to place a whole lot of landfill tiles. If I can find them. Can I search? There it is. Landfill. Uh, about a hundred by a hundred or so. Okay, that should be more than enough. We'll place our default LCL train block here. Um, while we're at it, I think I'll remove the old power poles. And we'll replace those with substation pylons. Uh, and now we go tiles, water, deep water, big brush, cover all of this. And we have the absolute minimum of landfill uh, to fill this out. Except, I think I would want landfill in the middle. And I probably don't want these gaps here either. They look a little bit unsightly. No! We can fix it. Okay, and then water over here. Missed a spot. Just make sure I got this. Landfill in here. And now we can update this blueprint to implicitly include the landfill. Missed the bottom right corner? Did we though? Fat boy not so slim? 
Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing... Oh, this little bit. Sneaky. There we go. Um, do we want to just have this blueprint have the landfill, or... Probably. Cool. Let's just test the snap to and everything. That seems fine. Alright. So now we can place it like this without any fear of throwing in unnecessary landfill. Now it's golden, indeed. Um, and I do want to get rid of the old power poles while we're here. Do I, like, not have robots or something? I'm obviously out of rail, but... No, I guess that's it. Also missed a bit of replacing over here. All right, let's bring the construction train instead of messing about with me going back and forth. Um, I also want to. Drop off a bunch of this landfill. Back to the mall with you. And we're just gonna copy paste this build for the most part. because I've updated it since the blueprint. What's this container for? Just balancing that, I guess? That's totally unnecessary. Iron plate is super slow. We can just request, like, one train load. requesting um, yeah exactly one train load of iron cargo rocket has done cargo rocket things it's all in range of the robots though fantastic uh, I do have a substation tile that's going to still be necessary unless I do something about that. These ones have combinators to piggy bank off. I said substation tile, I realize. Um, that doesn't reach here, does it? Nope. I might even make it my standard operating procedure for these things to just not have the constant combinator on a separate wire. Well, that, that actually goes far. Oh, it's connected to the pump. Whoops. Yeah, something like that, perhaps? Uh, 
60k threshold would be good. Plenty of petroleum, that's fine. Uh, let me go copy this up here as well. Oh. Now I need to upgrade the, update the power on this end. Duh. And I'm realizing the substation pylon probably doesn't fit in the exact middle for this build. It's fine. But for this one, it did? What? Oh, this was already here. Okay. Well, these pipes might be a bit different. So, we'll see how that goes. Maybe I should have kept some of the water here that we might have filled in. Alright, so our max rate for water for, the, uh, for this side of the block is 1k, for this side of the block is also 1.1k. Uh, theoretically, a pair of offshore pumps would be enough. Let's go a bit further than that. Remember to make new water pump pickup, indeed. I think I'll put it like here, maybe, or here. Uh, that's scary. But regardless, I think I'll do a little bit of landfill like this. And then probably a bit more, actually. So that I can line up the water like so. That could have got me killed. So one of these here... And maybe one over here. Nice and neat. Uh, and I definitely want a pump going straight into this if I can. That looks pretty good. With some steel undergrounds. And only one, two, three, four pipe sections. That should probably be more than we need to keep up with the water. Probably. Rails in top right corner missing, indeed. Seen that mistake before, whenever we copy-paste these things with just the middle bit. Um, and that's probably why the train hasn't arrived yet, and it's just about to. Wait, you realize when these trains know path, they don't start their journey, right? So, those trains just completed their journey from the pickup station, like, th five seconds after those rails were placed. That is fast. Alright, well, that probably, maybe, depending on the input limitations, doubles our sulfur. Um, which I honestly doubt that we needed yet, long term, but it's a done. We'll catch up with saturating those batteries and getting sulfur into the uh, rod modules quite a lot faster now. 
Alright, let's add the icons, the tags to the map. Sulfur, there seems to be a thing or two waiting to be built still. And that can go about there. What's this? Oh, it's just bots that don't have room to go back into the construction train. That'll sort itself out once it goes home. There is a pole in the rail. Uh, indeed there is. Dear Liza, dear Liza. Anything else? Rodo Art. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I love that I don't need any extra poles for those uh, offshore pumps. Uh, the I do remember that I have to make a water pickup as well. Whoops. Let's do that here. And huge storage tank. Pumps straight in. You know what? Why not make it extra fast? We can have it load the water in that much quicker. And I have two... Oh man, that doesn't quite line up. I have a pair of offshore pumps already. One, two. Which are apparently already powered. I love the substation pylons. And we'll just connect like this. Um, where was I looking? Here. Standard pickup station. Fluids only. Low Agro Gamer. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, before we schedule a train here, let me update the station name. Water Provider. And that's it. That is it. If we're allowing short trains to pick this up, then I probably shouldn't have it set up that way. I think the only reason it hasn't become imbalanced is... Uh, is because we probably haven't had short trains pick up from there yet. I'm not sure when I would have a short train pick up sulfur, but it could happen. Oh, and do we have the appropriate... We have a pretty good provide stack threshold, that should be fine. That acceleration, though. Right then. Let's get rid of, hopefully, the last few vanilla trains in the LTN system. Water pickup station? Uh, yes. Yes, indeed. Or large power pill. Yes, it was. Alright, let's get rid of the old trains. I might just do the... filling the schedule first. Oh, that's all of them. Ah, 
Hi, good morning. Thanks for the quality streaming. Welcome. I often watch the recording because it's too late for me to see online. Fair enough. Uh, thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. Glad you're enjoying it. Alright, is that the last of the old trains? How many more do we need? Uh, several of these are Nalvis because Nalvis is busted. But I do see an indefinite number of train requests for uh, Hagen still. Um... It looks like about half of them are fluid, so we'll bring like five fluid, five regular trains next time. Oh, and I should probably get the new depot going, because this one's actually starting to get... Not exactly full, but once we have enough trains for them to idle... Oh, this isn't active yet. That would probably help. I was going to say, we don't actually have trains idling here, do we? That doesn't make sense. Uh, yeah. I might... Go and borrow, depending on how things look, some batteries from up here. Uh, what? Didn't... Didn't I, like, take a bunch of these and limit this to just barely more than one cargo wagon? Why do we have 6.4 thousand... Uh, discharged packs in here. Bruh. I'm gonna go pick up some of those for the ground. No wire? Uh-oh. That might be wire. Yeah, that's, uh... That's the reason. Whoops, I can't believe I didn't see that. This one's got wire. And this one's got wire. Alright, cool. At least it makes sense. I'd rather it be because I made a mistake than something's genuinely broken. Like, glitched. Did you connect it to LTN? Yeah, I, I, I did not, apparently. Which is weird, because I copy-pasted it and edited it from the other build, which did have the wire. Alright, this one looks good. This one, give me all of your batteries, please. I can probably leave those there, that's not that big of a deal. And it's actually kind of convenient in a way, because... Well, no it's not. I would have just gotten the batteries from here if they'd accumulated that much. Also... Um... Considering how much it costs to make these... I don't think I want more than one cargo wagon to accumulate here. Um, let's just limit it to that. And we'll do the same thing for our build down here. Limit to one cargo wagon plus whatever's on the belt. We're already going to be spending a lot, initially, on these batteries. Alright. So we're going to dump all of these in here. And actually I think we'll do a shift C. That'll get all of those machines starting to charge batteries immediately. And now we go... Let me just drop off half of these wide area beacons at the mall down here. Um, don't know what this is doing in my inventory either. Apparently I don't have any first aid kits though. Are we not making those? 
Biome out of wood, raw fish. It all needs raw fish, uh, unless we do it this way. Wood, iron, plate, biomatter. Heavy oil, what? I can't be bothered with that. Yeah, let's just make the regular first aid kits. Wood, iron, plate, biomatter. Yeah, we can do that here. That's fine. Actually, I can do it with the auto crafter. Except I probably have to do your recipe first aid kit. Uh, depending on which is which. Is the shift C thing part of vanilla? It is even distribution, indeed. Larius, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What did I come here for? I was just dropping off a beacon. So I don't have to carry it. Also, I shouldn't be carrying these regular trains anymore. I don't actually have a request for them, as far as I can see. Oh, that's because I literally picked them up earlier. Okay. Let's go make a few more trains. And I can't believe how long... Advanced assembly machine is taking, um, but it's not actually stopped. Let's have a look. It is stopped for the moment. Material Science Pack 2 is looking for rigidity data, which is here. Oh. Well, that's not what I was expecting. The contaminated cosmic water is full. Um, and apparently the pipe is busted somewhere. What? 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 Nani? How? How is this not... If you want to cheat the advanced assembly machines, use spaceship tiles and place the large space assemblers down. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Um, why is contaminated cosmic water not moving from... Oh, you're joking. Wait, 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 wait. Then why, if I click on it here, does it also say 959? I mean, this at least... Oh, I think it thinks it's, like, connected through here or something? Is that all it is? And it outputs so slowly it took that long to saturate over here? Bruh. Yeah, we get one contaminated cosmic water out of this recipe, so we got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight hundred, nine hundred, plus what was in here, nine hundred and something recipes of this before it finally failed. Well then. Uh, don't need that pump, actually. Is that connected? There we go. Okay. T minus three minutes until a free trip to Nalvis? What?
do you forget? Don't forget to collect life support, otherwise go directly to jail. <laughs> Um, it's fine, I've got two and a half minutes. Don't, don't worry about it. Uh, do we have any life support here? Not really. What did I come here for? The trains. I've got two minutes. Uh, one, two, three, four... And I need all of these, minus one, and that should be it. See, it's fine. Totally fine. Not included? At least we don't have to worry about our steam turbines dying of heat. Let's go to the other... Oh. Let's go to the other depot. To put our new uh, trains down. And I kind of want to update it so that they all use the old depot name. So we don't have to have this um, arbitrary difference. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And I need the equivalent. But for fluid wagons. Okay, start putting these... Ooh, it's already half done. Uh, start putting these in. Oh, it's got that schedule on it. If I change... All of these stations to have that station name. Will it update all the other trains schedules? Or will it cause problems? Was that all of them? There's one up here that needs updating. I think that updated the schedules of these old uh, of these trains. All right, and we'll do. Same schedules for all of these, except I want them to be blue, instead of default red. Fantastic. 100% causes problems, that train just redirected. ruh -roh. I'm sure we'll find it eventually. Alright, this one is ready to go. Um, I'm probably allowed to leave. No path. Oh, it's a different no path. Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about preventing trains from coming in anymore. As long as we don't let ourselves get run over. Right. And 
you've got 60, 60. Off you go. Seventeen forty nine, that's probably fine. Um, one day I'll be smooth and consistent at that. I'll show them all. Twenty nine, twenty seven. This one's ready to... Oh, I did already activate this one. And then... Oops. Just like that. I think I'm checking the wrong one. There we go. 13 and 4. That's probably okay. And we have 5 fluid wagons to sort out. I think I'll just put all of these in before I start the fluid wagons. So I don't have to remember which ones I've done. Just a couple more to go. And this should be the last one. Double check this one. Oh, how many charged thingies do they have? 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 47, 60. Yeah, they're all good to go. And as for these guys, um, I actually already activated them. Which means we have enough trains, because they're sitting idle. Uh, although... You wouldn't think so? No train to transport... Blah blah blah... What's going on here? Hello? Is the... How's the train upgrade going? Uh, very well, asterisk. Glacier Wolf? Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, have I not given it the is depot? Stop is depot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, most of these are not getting the is depot signal because this wire is busted for some reason. Okay. I'm just gonna copy from here in case we're missing any other little details. We're probably going to see an explosion of, yep, trains being scheduled. Cool. Um, I'll leave that going for a bit, and we'll see if we've already got enough trains. 
That looked awesome, indeed. Hmm. I suppose if you really want to, you could do a depot blueprint that includes one train for each depot stop and have the uh have the combinator that says stock is depot switched off and then once all the trains are fueled switch that sucker on and watch uh 20 trains just all get scheduled at the same time assuming that you're short on trains at the time Very cool. Uh, unfortunately, we can't really rely on the bots to build the trains because we have to put power armor stuff into them. But yeah, that just leaves the short train, uh, short trains, which honestly, I can't really be bothered with right now. I want to take a little break. Um, that is one of the reasons. <laughs> why we're short on LTN trains right now. Let's go update our old uh, double length train depot to first of all let the trains out, second of all don't let them back in, third of all uh, third of all we're gonna replace the whole thing to make sure we don't make any mistakes. And we're going to have to get rid of all of this uh, solid rocket fuel and such. Why are you on... Oh. Right. This was before I realized I could do it just by removing one signal. For each quarter. All right, off you go. You're still saying no path because that signals in the wrong spot. Is LTN not using temp stops? Are uh, your settings busted? Uh, LTN will not bother with temp stops when and if there's no ambiguity. Like, if there isn't two station names, uh, two stations with the same name, uh, it won't use a temp stop because there's no need. But then again, we saw a bunch of this earlier, so I don't know what's going on with that. I wonder if it has something to do with trains being stuck for a while somehow, because that's the first I've seen of of this happening. Oh, this is one of the old trains. I was going to say that's the first I've seen of it happening with the new trains. Um, Alright, old train, let's get you to drop off at Iron or Requester, Empty Cargo, and I'll come and pick you up myself. Here comes our old train. It's looking a bit full actually in here. And that's it. Okay. It's like we're getting the same weirdness here as we did before. Oh, provide stack threshold 80. Well, there's probably a problem. Although, it still should have...
Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Just go deliver it. Your LTN settings appear to be not using temp stops. Uh, I don't even know of an LTN setting where we can turn off temp stops. And I've looked at these a few times. Yeah, there's there's no option to just turn off temp stops. What is this? Cargo inside train when arriving at provider is shown in LTN output. I don't remember turning that off, but I don't I don't know when that would ever be relevant. Are there startup settings for LTN? Startup LTN. I don't think so. No. Besides, we're seeing trains with temp stops. I don't think you can turn it off. I think it just creates a temp stop if there's multiple stations with the same name. If you see the train going back, it's already it's already been to the temp stops is the thing. See, this one has temp stops. Maybe there were no temp stops because it was waiting at the final stop. Yeah, most likely. Um, I don't know. I, I still don't know how we ended up with trains that I guess had visited their temp stops that were going to the lazy mines that have the same names, uh, going to the wrong stops. But we seem to have resolved it, whatever it was. Probably. Matu, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I thought this was an old train for a second, but it was actually just slowing down for a different train. And Rebless, thank you for the follow as well. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Are these guys okay? Provide threshold, 60,000. It's waiting for 60,000. And there's no pyroflux here. Oh, wait, it's dropping off pyroflux. Wait. No, it's not. It's picking it up. Yeah, yeah, what the hell? Why is it like this? It only seems to happen with fluids, and only starting today, or maybe yesterday. I saw it happening with the... Uh... <sighs> what the hell, what the hell. I've set a provide threshold here of 100k. There's no petroleum here. And it's come for 60k petroleum. The train is empty. There's 147k here. There's a yellow light. The train is trying... This train is supposed to be over here. That's what's happening. What? Oh, I bet I know why. 
I bet it's because we dropped the train limit to zero on maybe this one. Because we wanted the vanilla train to be able to pick up coal. So when there isn't a certain amount of coal here, we set the train limit to zero. And then... And then it probably temp stop paths to here and then says, oh, that train station has a limit of zero. Therefore, I'll go to this one. I think that's why. I think it's because we have to have uh, this stuff to control the, the vanilla trains that go through the space elevator. Okay. Is that... But does that possibly explain why this happens? I don't think it does. Same happened in my game, wrong stop. I had this same issue the other day, a restart fixed it. I think it's a bug in the LTN station name, doesn't matter thing. Um, I, I, I have potentially an explanation for this one though. Then again, how that would happen with the train stops that were just getting solids from mines, I have no idea. Also, we're looking for 12,000 Holmanite. This is 12.8 thousand. And we've still oversupplied this. I might have actually sent this train here manually a while ago. Uh, now that I think of it. Because I was trying to get it away from... Uh, away from a mine. That might have been on me. I mean, we can try a restart. There's really no harm in it. It only happens to me when stamp blueprints with station names. I removed all my station names so they are default generated and not had it since. Well, we would have seen this problem a lot sooner if that's how it was. If that was the cause, that is. Hey, Akira. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is OPS okay finding Factorio again? What's going on? Uh, just having some weird issues with trains. Normally it does find the Factorio is loading thing. Oh, oh, nope, here we are. We're good. That is where I was standing, right? I'm not loading the wrong save. So I think, unfortunately, um, I am going to have to split these stations into two. Um, but we've got plenty of space to do it. It is a little frustrating that that would be necessary, but vanilla trains be like. It's either that or never put a train limit and therefore the vanilla trains could just squeeze themselves in here when there's not enough resources. Would it really be that bad if I had the vanilla trains that go through the space elevators? Just like, parking themselves here until they had iron plate? Not that we're sending iron plate up the space elevator, but um... Like... If we had a vanilla train come in here to get ingots... And just stay here until it had the ingots... Would that actually be a problem? If I did it that way, I wouldn't actually need a depot on this side. 
And the way things work, I always have to have the vanilla trains as a higher priority anyway. And this would mean I never have to do any extra logic or anything to control train limits. Could do a vanilla train from LTN providers swap station. I do that with a couple of them just because I kind of had to because like I've got multiple fluid pickups up here for example. I can't have a vanilla train picking up petroleum from here or lubricant for that matter. But I definitely don't want to do that for every resource. That's It's bad enough having to do all of these stations. Uh, to have like vanilla train drop off green circuits and then LTN train pick up green circuits. Um, but I'm seeing a lot of advantages tentatively to just not having a depot down this end. Don't bother with train limits on the pickups. And we'll have vanilla train... You know... Uh, park itself here, even if there's no coal. How fast do we end up making petroleum here? I know it's not that fast. Three twenty per second versus over a stack of coal. Yeah, like, if a, if a vanilla train inserts itself into a pickup station, even if there's not enough stuff to fill a train, and the vanilla train just stays there until it's full, and then it goes up the space elevator, uh, and then if the destination is full, it'll park itself here. I think that's probably fine, actually. It would look neat to have a symmetrical design, not that it's worth the effort. Maybe heat depot purely for the smooth output from the space elevator. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't actually need a depot for that. All I really need for that is a stop um, that's far enough from the space elevator that they're scheduled to go to. Um, that's always available. But I can't really fit it here as cozily as I would like. So I could just leave this depot here. Or I could have some kind of different sort of pseudo stacker in this area. Hmm. Well, I've got a few train schedules to change if I decide to do that, but it actually tentatively sounds like a pretty good idea. I wonder if the vanilla train stuff had anything to do with those other issues. Hmm. On a resource, you would need a depot? On a resource? If you got more than one train. Oh yeah, so far we only have one train per resource. Um, but yeah, I'm seriously considering just... not bothering with the train limits now. We 
we might get a train having to wait for a vanilla train that's just waiting to get filled up sometimes. But that's not necessarily that big of a deal. Except now I'd have to go back and get rid of all these decider combinators. The ones that only really have a vanilla pickup... Uh, I did make these LTN stops, but I don't think LTN brains ever actually pick up from here. Uh, I wouldn't need to bother changing those. I'll, I'll mull it over. I'll have, a, I'll have a good bonk about this one. Alright, what should we do in the meantime? Now that we probably... The list of... Don't, the list of we don't have enough trains is getting shorter. It doesn't go off the screen for Hagen now. I think that means we're catching up. I think that means we have enough trains already. Most likely. Oh yeah, we've emptied this. We want to convert it to the new style of depot. Whoops, too far to the right. Um, and I need to remove all this old... Let's turn off my Robopollock. We'll get the deconstruction train to come pick all of this up. Wait for inactivity. And... Probably remove all the red belt. Remove all the old power poles. Uh, remove the train stops. Just to be sure. Probably should have done that first. I think I already switched it off, actually. Um, remove all the yellow inserters. And that did not take long to fill up. Got another 900 uh, solid rocket fuel in here. Where are my bots? What? What the? Uh, okay. Drive-by building? Oh, it came from the mall, I think. Fair enough. Alright. Solid rocket fuel in there. And we'll go pick this up. Don't forget to remove that chest this time. Seems good. Never mind, that's an awful lot of solid rocket fuel. Are we almost done? Not even? We still have to make another trip. Okay. I think we're ready to place our blueprint. Oh, I did make a short train version of this as well. Let's update that in a minute. Left click, no shift. Fantastic. Let's get our construction train to visit over here. 
And... Um, wow, there's already trains here. I shouldn't be surprised, I guess. As soon as my bots calm down, I'll go grab body space train charging thingamajigs. Hurry up. There is a train and the sand provider at the top that doesn't work. There's a train and the sand provider at the top that doesn't work. This one? Provide stack threshold 80. Is 16,000. Yeah, um... I don't know why. This just keeps happening now. Like, the provide stack threshold is set to some amount. The train comes looking for that amount, but it's not here. Read stopped train T. We didn't have anything limiting the train stop here. So that's not a thing. It just sent a train here for resources that weren't there. I don't understand why. Settings... I don't think mod settings could be it. I do, just to confirm, have the default provide and request threshold set too high to ever go into effect. Is this just, like, not actually connected somehow? Doesn't make any sense. Alright, let's get the rest of this built. Oh, wait, almost forgot. Give me all of these. And that Y is not connected. No, wait, it is. It's totally fine. Alright, and we'll manually bring some batteries over so we don't have to wait for 60 stacks. Sorry, 50 stacks. Why are there no batteries here? Because there's no batteries here. Um, I could steal some batteries from up here, but instead... It's going to the mall. Regardless, I'll get some from Orbit. There should be like 40 stacks available. It's the new fancy trains, it worked better with the normal trains. There's no reason why the new trains should affect LTN. Also, it was earlier this stream uh, causing these issues with the old trains. Johan Anderson, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing ha uh, well. Happened with normal liquid trains last Monday, yeah. It's particularly strange when we set the provide threshold extra high. Um... Yep, we're down to like three... Three trains that Hagen doesn't have available right now. Um, I think we've got enough. What, what did I come here for though? Oh, I've got one minute left. What did I come here for? Oh god, oh no. Um... Um, 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 I, I honestly don't know. Oh, the batteries. Okay, 44 seconds. Dun, 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 dun. Give to me some batteries, please. That will do. And 20 seconds left. And I should probably remember to get some life support this time. 
It does actually take quite a while to suffocate. <laughs> Uh, where was I putting them? In the new depot, up here. In you go. Actually, take that back. Shift C, and we can start charging them all simultaneously. Fantastic. Uh, what else? Life support. Life support. Should have some here. I might not actually. I've been putting this off forever. Um, I need some decontamination facilities and or life support facilities. Can't build on concrete. I guess it's got to be life support facility. And I think we need three in a row. We don't actually have those here. Pump assembly two. Alright, let's just arrange for this here. Life support facility. Am I not requesting first aid packs? I guess not. So first of all, we need to make life support canister. I can do raw fish, wood, and water, if I so desired. Or I can do coal and water. Or I could do biomass and water, and cosmic water. Fascinating. Uh, and first I need to make empty life support canisters. I also need to clean the old stuff. Which, now that I think of it, If I just recycled what I had, um, that probably would have been enough by now. I have to do it in space as well. And I don't really want to make have to make a water drop off here, but I don't want to build it over here as well either. So I guess it's going to be the water drop off. Where am I going to put it? Here's good. Let's get rid of these old power poles. Pretty sure there's nothing... that specifically... needs them for circuit wire connections. Gotta double check that. That's just information. Alright. Old power poles be gone. New power poles be here. And we'll put in Allen substation. I could probably put it in the middle if I wasn't so lazy. Where, okay, where does it want to be? Right here. It's actually not that much effort. Fantastic. Okay. And I need to figure out a spot for water drop-off, which I was going to do over here. We'll need some circuit wire connecting to the logistic train stop output. Let's 
symmetry. And this is water. This is liquid rocket fuel. And then we're going to request water as well. And then life support. This doesn't have to be here, does it? Empty life support canister. Life support canister. This one makes empty life support canister. Could probably swap those around. Doop a doop. We got some advanced assembly machines. Once I can be bothered making Immersium Beams, which I should probably do over here. Um, and water. Oh, we do kind of need a RoboPort around here somewhere. Uh, water can go... like this. And we'll do a couple of the old requester chests. Stop trying to apply settings to myself. There we go. And it's not like we can prod these or anything. Secure canister. Uh, I think we can probably... Plastic, glass, heat shielding, steel plate, copper. It makes scrap as well. That's probably fine. We could do it here. Secure canister... I guess I don't really need to make these in space. Since it's so easy to come up and down the elevator. Batteries? Batteries. Oh yeah, yeah, what I was looking for when I was panicking. Alright, that's our secure canisters. Oh, I forgot this little detail. There we go. Fantastic. I'm gonna get some IRL life support for myself. Going to upgrade armor to help the new trains running you over. <laughs> no, no, I don't need that. Not even once. Uh, yeah, let's let that run a bit. We'll do some LTN screensaver. Throw up some words on stream. I'm gonna get some water and stuff. And we'll be back in a few minutes. Trains stuck? That would never happen. Not even once. Oh, I need to update this. Okay. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay. Let's continue, shall we? Where were we? This train is looking very confused. It's looking for solid rocket fuel. Oh, I broke the wire. Okay. I did look for ways that I would break a wire, but I missed this one. So, I believe we just need a red wire to cross here. That shouldn't actually cause a problem. If that reaches, nope. What about across here? That's definitely going to cause a problem. Let's just put a combi here. Alright, so then we request the solid rocket fuel. And that's going to get taken to... Mall 2? Wait, what? What do you mean, Mall 2? Did I actually... Huh, I'm surprised I didn't notice this sooner. Encoded network ID 1... Encoded network ID... 2. So this doesn't go around in circles in future. Okay. Kaza and Koha, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, how much life support do we have here? More than a stack. Fantastic. And where is it in my inventory? There it is. Okay, what are you doing? Trying to drop off too much water because I forgot to connect it. Over here, probably. Yes. That's fine. And any other obvious blunder? Oh my god. Oh no, I think... Uh... I think there was a wire connection that we missed. I think there may have been a few deliveries here that weren't supposed to weren't supposed to be. And of course it happened as soon as I went on a break. Or at least it came into effect at around that time. Um, do I need to make more storage or... I guess it couldn't hurt. means we're gonna have uh, quite a few more of a few resources than we need for a little while in the mall. Okay. Any other weird problems? You're looking for coal. You should have coal. Destination full. Oh, enable train limit zero. Well, there's your problem. Kind of a leftover from when I quote-unquote fixed it. This guy seems to be doing fine. Except I should probably have... Should probably have two belts... Pushing to the front like this. And that wire can be unconditional. And we just set a higher provide threshold. Need 
same thing everywhere else. And let's get our construction train to pay all of those a visit. That should be sufficient. Probably. What's your problem? Too many batteries? We can fix that. There's just a lot in here. Um, trains are queuing up for this place anyway. Like seven? More than that? Because LTN thought we had nothing in the entire mall. depot. Um, I think first thing is I'll prevent short trains from leaving once again. We'll wait till they'll come back, which shouldn't be too long. There's not many that, there's not that many short train deliveries. Uh, and I should go get some train stuff to place new trains. Up we go with our seven hours of life support. That's a little better than seven seconds. We're also a third done with researching advanced furnace. Alright, um, let's go for like... Why are there only eight of these here? Well, I guess that's four trains. Um, but why though? Because there's no multi-cylinder engines left. Um, okay. Are we bringing those up? I think I decided against it. Because there wasn't enough... ...high throughput stuff that it goes into. Car, flamethrower turret, air purifier... ...all mall stuff. Tank. Yeah, I don't think it's a big loss if we don't get... Productivity bonuses for multi-cylinder engines just in space. We already do get bonuses for them here. So... We can probably just get away with doing it like this. Hold up, what do we need for multi-cylinders? Gear, cylinder, plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got all of that. Uh, let's see. Multi-cylinder engine. Just need a few. And... Apparently I already do have 
permission for these in here. That makes sense. So we're just going to have the auto crafter make some. Assuming that there's... Yep, here we go. Assuming that we have some slots available. We do need some single cylinder engines. Added to here. Let's go with... Just shoving those in here. And apparently we don't have single cylinder engines. We should have those in bulk though. We do not. What is it called? Motor? Motor. M-O-T-O-R goes into inserters, multi-cylinder engines, gates, turrets, splitters, transport belt. I think the space belt skips all the regular belt prerequisites, right? Yeah, it does. So, in space, uh, we would only need them to make inserters and turrets which go into certain facilities. Yeah, we can just make those here as well. Not very high volume. And again, we already did program in mission for them. Alright, so within 30 seconds that should tick over and we get our multi-cylinder engines and we get our locomotives and we get our space locomotives. Although I'm not sure why this one's blank. Oh that's right. Yeah we couldn't do the space locomotives in the auto crafter without too much hassle. Because for some reason we have to set recipe uh, recipe space train locomotive space locomotive, so it makes it a lot harder to compare it alongside all the other resources with what we've got. All right, so how many of these trains do I want to make? Probably just like. Three for each type should be enough. This would be four in total, five in total. Let's do three and two. So one, two, three. And one, two. So we need a uh, 10 times 5. Fifty of these and uh seventy seventy advanced additional should be right. Yep. Alright, let's go make some trains. What the heck happened to my chat thing? Are we good? Are we live? Are we good? Are we live? Seems like it. We're good, indeed. I have no idea to get it back the way it was. I guess I'll just have to deal with this. Well, I, I know how to get it back the way it was, but it involves a restart.
What's going on here? Provide stack threshold 80. We've got 1.4k. That's 70 stacks. And it's looking for iron. Ugh. Okay, this is Holmanite. Provider. This is dropping off Holmanite. I need to update that, that station name there. And that is rather frustrating. Why does it keep doing this? I am offline, you're not thankfully, okay. So JMO, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Awesome cat, good to see you again also. Yeah, I'm seeing some very strange LTN behavior today that I've never seen before. And I can't think of a way around it other than maybe just... <sighs> I was going to say set arbitrarily high um, provide thresholds, but I mean, it doesn't seem to be respecting the provide thresholds. Or well, in this case, it was at the wrong station. Why did it think it could find iron at unnamed station? I don't know. Um, I think it's got something to do with station name ambiguity. Our lazy mine template has the same uh, train stop name that I haven't been bother haven't been bothering to change because I shouldn't have to because LTN does temp stops to deal with station name ambiguity. But lately I've been catching trains just at the wrong, usually it's one of those lazy mines, uh, at the wrong mine trying to pick up a resource. Um, at least it like, at least it'll stay there indefinitely waiting until like iron is greater than X. So it's never gonna drop off the wrong resource at the right station. Um, so it's not going to cause that big of a catastrophe. But that said... Oh, this is imbalanced? How much am I asking for here? 12k. Okay, that is... That is kind of close to how much can be stored here. Let's probably drop that request down a bit. Since it seems that even when it comes to taking from unloaders, uh, these things can end up imbalanced. Why aren't we processing? Because there's no crushed hormonite, because stone output is full. Because. Oh, I bet I know. Because I didn't update the shape of this. Whoops. That one's on me, at least. You sent that one, I think, with uneven load. Yeah, but this shouldn't be full enough for that to be a problem. Um, but yeah, I think the, I think the invisible inserters putting stuff into the delivery cannon chest, uh, even here, can't necessarily be. I guess it's because this output isn't that fast, or it, it's backed up. Maybe if this was arbitrarily fast, like faster than this can keep up with, we could rely on this to stay balanced. 
but because it's not, we're gonna get like, you know, one or two Holmanite empty here, and then one of these invisible inserters is gonna take from one of these. And you'd think it would take turns consistently, but it doesn't. So we just have to assume, like, okay, this can be arbitrarily imbalanced um, whenever we use these chests this way. So we just have to set small enough um, small enough limitations on how many stacks we use here, if we're going to do it that way. Um, but yeah, let's get rid of the old short trains. Whoops, that's probably fine actually. Inventory is already full. Um, is that all of them? I know we didn't have many short trains, but that's a little bit surprising. And we're going to want to just get rid of everything here that could throw off our new blueprint. Uh, red belt. Let's get the deconstruction train to pay us a visit. Actually, you know what I should do right now? is set up same logic uh let's see we're reading train contents yeah that's fine read stops train as t uh, and this one should be t equals zero, enabled. Just like this one. And our schedule has inactivity on the second stop. So it's this circuit logic that prevents the train from going around in circles. And this way I can... I'll set the inactivity to like 60 seconds because the bots have to fly back a lot of the time. Maybe that doesn't really matter that much. Anyway, uh, what I can do here is put a temp stop here, put another temp stop after one lap, and set that to inactivity. So now the deconstruction train should visit this place twice before it settles back into sitting still at home. Let's go drop off our own solid rocket fuel. Looks like we're too full again. And shift C. Fantastic. That's still too much. Oh yeah, I see what the bots are doing. They're instantly filling my inventory. Alright, how's our deconstruction train doing? We've got a cloud of bots flying back to it. Uh, looks like it can get the job done. I was going to say next turn, because this is apparently XCOM. Uh, but yeah, that should be everything we need. So that our blueprint works next time. Where is Decon? Here he is.
Left stations aren't deconned. Palm oh, tree. I think that'll be enough. Hmm, I could have this one put to the near side. And this could go like that. And place to near side. And then we should get an even split on either side of the belt next time. This is after it went to the emptier, but the bots came back and refilled it up here. Actually, let me do it this way. Oh wow, I didn't think it would do it that way. Uh, that's interesting. I somehow made the train go... It, like, the pathing said it was going to use this loop, or this loop, but the train just sort of backed up and then said, I am now at this station. It backed into the station. I've never seen that before. I doubt there's a way you could automate and quote-unquote exploit that. But it's interesting, nonetheless. Let, let me try and do it again. Uh, I'm just going to send it to the temp stop, and then send it to this stop. And sure enough, it just like backs into it, even though it says the pathing goes like that. That is so weird. Okay, are you just about done charging? Kind of, probably enough. Off you go. And I'll turn off my RoboBot be before I come over here. I thought there was something weird with those belts, but they're actually... There actually is something weird with those belts. They shouldn't be saturated like that. What's going on? Oh. Is this because I did a big shift C and filled them with... Uh, filled the uh, space train battery pack charging stations with uh, space train power pack discharges? No? How did... How did half of this end up oversaturated? That is strange. This is the same belt layout that we're using at the other depots, right? Uh-oh, it's doing the same thing over here. Uh-oh. Why is it like this? I don't understand. Time to panic? At least it's consistent? It's not consistent though. Midden, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So we've got uh, we've got a 50-50 limiter right here. Could it be because I didn't put the power packs in this way? Because I dumped a bunch of them, like several hundred, straight into the power pack? But like, we've got limiters on these. They don't output if this tile detects more than two. I guess it just takes a little gap if the train, if there's like, if, if there's a consistent set like this, 
and then a train takes one of these charging charged packs and all of these are waiting to output then the moment there's a little gap here we get one two three four five six seven eight nine charged packs added to the belt is this actually a problem I don't know if it is a problem, as long as... As long as there's always room to output the discharged or broken power packs. I can't even remember why we needed a gap on the charged side. Oh. Because the we need a gap on the charged side because sometimes this outputs is busted. Is that even a reason? We've still got the gap everywhere for the discharged power packs. So I think it should be fine. Probably. Mind if I ask why not just use some um, provider and requester chests? Because then we'd need bots here. Then you rely on bots not breaking down. If you limit them to 50 in a logistic network, uh, they don't crash. But then you have to have like separate logistic bot networks that you supply. Um, but yeah, that's uh, not what I was expecting. It's probably fine. I guess we're going to have some more sushi fun if it's actually not. Anyway, uh, it looks like this thing is ready to go. Let's grab our blueprint for the single length trains. Didn't even have to shift click. That's a good sign. And station name... Oh, there is a single train out there somewhere. Let's not let it leave, and I'll pick up the pieces. Looks like it's literally just the one single length train. I need some more red belt, I need some more charging things. Some train stops. Let's just bring the construction train over here. And I'll bring the battery charges. Is it not going to leave forward? Uh, no, it can't. Because these two signals right here are not lined up with each other. Uh, so they basically just don't let anything through. Oh, we're still dealing with this. Okay. Um, purple chests. That's not going to help too much, but it's not nothing. Also, apparently I am allowing short trains... Oh yeah, yeah, I remember talking about this. Uh, allowing short trains to come here will mean that discharged or destroyed power packs will drop into here. But that's not really a problem. Okay. We can put this back now. Fantastic. And is construction train okay? Apparently. Oh, it did build everything else. I forgot to pick up the batteries. Batteries. Uh, carry another 10. Do the bots take it out of my hand? I think they do. Or apparently I didn't need that many. 
All right, let's make some trains. One, two, three. Cargo wagons. And one, two. Fluid wagons. Make these ones blue. Uh, give them a schedule would probably be a good idea. Depot length one. And default. Uh, default color. Depot length one. Inactivity. I'm pretty sure LTN just for better and worse, uh, worse overrides the conditions on this stuff. I would love to be able to change, like, uh, make it so that inactivity and empty cargo was a condition to leave the depot. I've managed to avoid needing a condition like that this playthrough, but suffice to say we could build in a bit better safety against mistakes with that. Oh yeah, we'll need some batteries here before we activate these trains, won't we? I should probably do that now, since it's going to take a little bit of time. Batteries, that should be enough actually. I mean, we need two stacks per train, right? Yeah, this should be enough for all of those to get a full charge. And just three more to go. So that's how it's not a pass-through station, indeed. Yeah, I kind of wanted it to be a pass-through at first, but uh, it doesn't really matter too much. But if you want the stations that close together, that's just how it has to be. Very cozy. So, if we're making... 1.18 per second, and we need 60 times 10, right? 600. Uh, it should take 500 seconds, 8.42 minutes, for these to all have a full charge. What the... Apparently I miscounted uh, how many of these I would need. So I'll just check these are all done. The top one is done. Middle one. Uh, we're missing seven. We're missing 21 advanced electric engines. Oh, minus seven. We're missing 14. That seems oddly specific. I'll just carry a bunch of them down here, why not? Reason for leaving out the last three spots for solar panels? 
Uh, just because I did the math on how many solar panels we need to support those uh, electric engines. It's 384 kilowatts per big imasite, uh, big portable imasite solar panel. Um, times five is like 1800 or something, 1900. Uh, and we're using seven, seven times 250 kilowatts for the advanced. Um, that's not a lot of big portable imasite solar panels. We've run out of imasite crystals. Well, there's plenty of them here. What's going on? Probably what's going on is I haven't requested them yet. That's, that's probably what that is. There we go. Alright, I may as well take these downstairs now. Down we go. And I'll just put the excess solar panels and advanced electrics in the mall downstairs. Ooh. Sulfur is saturated. That's what I like to see. Well, this one's not saturated because there was just a pickup. So that should mean we are making batteries at full speed, and should mean we have no trouble whatsoever catching up with uh, supplying these things. Okay. Seven of these. Uh, and the reason we don't put eight is because we couldn't quite support them, obviously. Alright, just one more. Alright, how ready are they to go? 32, 60, 60, 16... That's good enough. doop a doop Fantastic. And this train is probably ready to go also. Yes, it is. So we have at least some short trains. I'll just remove these two pieces of rail. Um, so that when I look back here, I realize that those trains are definitely not going anywhere. The last train is missing an engine. Oh, so it is. Thank you. Fantastic. What should we research now? More zone discovery. So we find a decent candidate before we go looking for another outpost. No problem. Fantastic. Let's put this stuff in here. And we should have enough trains for a good while now. Nalvis and Gibbel. We do indeed have enough trains on Hagen. It's a beautiful thing to see. I should probably upgrade these uh, green circuit builds. Stop using prod ones. I 
kind of want to do something easy right now, though. I've had enough of running around in circles fixing this stuff for the moment. Hmm. What do we do that's easy? Maybe a new space build? I think we're up to making data cards for the level 1 exotic sciences in the rail block. Rough data storage sub... Oh, I already did this. I forgot. Okay, what's going on here? You are trying to pick up cargo rocket sections, but you have... Hold on, what? Oh, that is Blacklist. Wait. What? Cargo Rocket Section. Blacklist. There's no Blacklist. Set Filters. Blacklist. This is supposed to be... Oh, I don't think this is supposed to be a red wire. Green wire. Yeah, so we're only taking out the, the rare metals that aren't supposed to be in this train. Okay, cool. That'll do. What's next? Very cool seeing our uh, new trains just zipping around the place. So many wires? N no. It's, on it's only a bit. Where should we go today? I kind of want to go somewhere new, make an outpost or something. And leave Hagen to catch up with things. Although I don't think it's actually going to take that long. For it to catch up. I should probably do a build that'll get rid of this uh, rhinite powder faster. Or at all, for that matter. I'm not sure we're actually keeping up with cryonite rods. Why don't I just go beacon the cryonite rods and see what happens? It would help if I built this with wide area beacons in mind. Is that why I left this gap here? I don't think so. I can't believe I built this without thinking of beacons. I could do like six beacons, but that seems terribly wasteful. Hmm. You have something that's out of fuel somewhere. That's on Nalvis. There's a... There's a whole mess on Nalvis that I don't want to bother with. Like, we, we keep coming back to Nalvis to reactivate, like, just a trickle of resources that comes from kind of early game core fragment mining, and it's not really worth the headache. Question is, do you even need more than two? Just the end product, not the intermediate. More than two what? Oh, for the beacons? It's more the principle of fitting it, though. 
Um, I guess I could redesign this block. Make another one, like, down here. doop a -doo. What did we discover? Boros. Boros is... Pretty far from Hagen, iron ore, medium size, and zero biters. It's in the Oriel system. Um, can I not click on the system itself without activating creating a new surface? Oriel, there it is. Ooh, Boros is extremely close to the interstellar map. Um, that's a definite candidate for late game iron exploitation. When we have the anomaly. So that the distance is irrelevant across the interstellar gulf. Uh, I kind of want to put a tag here. So that that's consistent. Why can't I place it? Why are you like this? There we go. How's our power at this stage? Still really, really good. It's gone up like 5% since I last checked on it. It's probably all just the beacons idling. Looks like we're keeping up with Holmanite very easily. Fantastic. Yeah, I think I'll do another Cryonite Rod build, and I'll turn this one off, the inputs. So that'll just drain. We'll do a Cryonite Rod build down here. Now that we can remove all of this mess. We can fill out this rail block properly. Out with the old power poles. In with the shiny new island substations. What the heck is that? Did anyone see what that text said? That was weird. Uh, we can probably get rid of this too. It was red. Yes, it was. It was from the crafting combinators. I, I imagine it had something to do... Oh, not enough... Oh, not enough room in overflow chest, I think it's saying. But why would... It's trying to switch recipe, that's why. It's trying to switch recipe because it's all backed up. It's trying to switch recipe because we've got Vulcanite blocks. But we're already on the Vulcanite block recipe. Oh, some of them are not on the Vulcanite block recipe. I see. So this has been backed up. We got Vulcanite blocks. We switched to the more efficient recipe. Uh, these ones managed to switch and these ones didn't. And now, every 30 seconds, it says the overflow chests are full. We can't switch recipe because we can't output this first. Fascinating. Well, I guess there's just not that much demand for rare metals at this stage. I should probably prod them, though. Do I even have enough prods? I doubt it. 
Let's go get some more. We have not that many. Are we bottlenecked on Vulcanite? Because I don't think we're bottlenecked on Sulfur. Yeah, it's Vulcanite. It's always Vulcanite. But we've got plenty of Vulcanite right over here. Um, well, if that input is saturated, I think we should probably speed it up. And I don't think we really need to put a 10 megawatt beacon here, considering this thing's sitting idle most of the time. Alright. Beacon sickness, go. Plus 20%, minus 70%. Power consumption. Doop a doop. What do we got? Bunky. It's a moon. Bunky. What? Did I misread that? B U N K L E. Bunkle. Bunkle is iron. Very, 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 very small. Parent is Boros. I think that was the planet that we were just looking at. Yeah. Uh, well, that's not too exciting. 3% threat, indeed. And you could probably walk across it in like two minutes. Uh, I want to fit another beacon here, of course, which means moving this underground. That doesn't quite work. Let's make it blue. And one, two, three, four. The rest is efficiency. And then we've got this misfit down here. What's the ratio look like? Uh, positive vulcanite. Sixty six vulcanite versus sixty if all of these were under the beacon. But they're not. Hmm. Hmm. Could I fit this? It would get beacon sickness. I could fit it, like, way over here. It's gonna look a bit budge, but... We could probably make it work. We could definitely get rid of the old power poles. And the local construction bots are going to steal those. They'll end up back at the mall. It's fine. Uh, I guess this one's in the way as well. And this one. Good gravy. Okay. So that's under a beacon. And we need... We need this to find its way here, and this to find its way here. 
shouldn't be too hard. Should be pretty easy, actually. So let's check our ratio now. Uh, we're still positive six on Vulcanite. Which means we're going to bottleneck on consuming that, and therefore actually everything else will come out 10% slower. Is that a problem though? Not necessarily. I guess I could squeeze another one up here. It's going to look pretty dodgy, but... Not the end of the world. Probably move these over one. And not put how much do we get between these two? 15, 16, 17 per second. Uh, where do I want this? Something like that. That should be fine. So, rate should be okay. We should easily consume all of the Vulcanite, which means everything else comes out at full speed as well. And we have Katsuki. Katsuki is pretty far away from Hagen. It's in the Calamity system. Cryonite, I couldn't be less interested uh, at least at this point, since we're on a cryonite planet. Um, uh, but maybe for late game. It said the Calamity system, right? Yeah. Here it is. How close to the interstellar map are we? Not very. Don't think I'm very interested in that one, period. Alright, let's update the next block for Vulcanite. And move these out of the way again. Put down our modern power system. Get this guy out of here. Update this. Get rid of the old beacons. Is your input empty? Finally? Shift C. Listen on. Right. Delete this. Make this blue. And that, for some reason, didn't make this blue. And we should be able to copy-paste this now. I think. And here comes more Vulcanite. Is there a way to use a blueprint from your library without having it land in your inventory? Land in your inventory? Uh, so what I'm doing is pressing B for blueprints and just, for example, clicking this 
and then it's like in my hand and if I press Q or something uh, it doesn't end up in my inventory it's just back back here that's how I'm doing it uh, and I need to fix this belt there we go let's just double check our rate slightly negative on vulcanite everything else pretty good uh, I didn't actually check how fast we were going before this I kind of want to know so we've got um, we've got 20 machines in each block doing doing this recipe. I didn't see exactly how many speeds and efficiencies we had. I think we probably had more efficiencies. That can deal with approximately 80 core fragments per second. And this can deal with 80 core fragments a second. Huh. Uh, I think I probably had fewer speed modules before, though. I tend to do the Q thing, but air must just be my sleepy brain doing a trick. I hope so, I guess. Just drag it into the library from the inventory. Yeah, you can. So that goes in inventory. I open up blueprint library. I can just click this over here. Get out of here, Deacon Planner. What's this train doing? It is once again looking for 60k fluid. When apparently there isn't 60k fluid here. Even though I set a provide threshold of 60k. I do not understand why. But I guess I'll just set an even higher provide threshold. I guess. Another station with Pyro somewhere? What do you mean by that? Oh, as in with the same name? This one has 50k, so that's not enough to trigger a delivery. Oh. Its threshold is still 50k. Was the train asking for 50k or was it 60k? I thought it was 60k. I'm pretty sure it was asking for 60k. Five thousand. Uh, a hundred times fifty, that's... Wait, what? Hold on. Enriched Vulcanite. A hundred stacks. Fifty times a hundred. Yeah, five thousand. So this train is trying to fill up. The provide stack threshold is one hundred. Oh, I see. No, this is... this is why. That's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but it makes sense at least. Um, and I'm just going to limit the front to 50 stacks, and I'm going to set the provide threshold... the provide stack threshold to more than 100. That way, the stuff that gets pushed from the back to the front while the train is getting loaded isn't going to throw it off. I think it happens because I don't stop loading trains if they have exactly the requested amount. 
I somehow have the same problem with trains requesting more than available, but only on a single station that provides custom amount of scrap. Uh, is it possible you have the finished loading ticked? Where they'll they'll keep going until the inserters stop swinging. So if you're asking for less than a train load, it'll end up putting in more. And maybe if it schedules two trains to pick up from a station, uh, one after the other, because there's like two train loads of stuff here, then the second train won't get enough. I got that ticked on purpose, but until now I was too lazy to fix it. Okay. Um, any other train weirdness happening? This is looking for 8k, which suggests to me that provide stack threshold here is still 80. Um, let's bump that up a bit and make this bit unconditional. Shouldn't actually have any problems though. Well, not after I changed that. Oh, and I want to limit the front to 50 stacks, not 40. So many of these to fix. I think I did all the copper ones, actually. I'm not seeing any other train weirdness. What's this? You're just getting filled up. Alright, cool. Fantastic. Alright, so how's a Vulcanite really... Ooh... Uh, it's probably just a coincidence that this is saturated at the moment. It's saturated on both sides, though, so that's... Oh, this is one resource, this is the other, that's why. How fast would this go if I beaconed it? Probably way too fast. I'm pretty sure this build is already faster than we need. We can do 26.88 Vulcanite blocks per second, or more to the point. We can consume 38.4 and 19.2. And this can only give us about 20 enriched per second. So yeah, this is already faster than we need. But on the other hand, it is burning a lot of energy. 2.5 megawatts for each uh, machine. We may as well give that a little update. Minimum consumption is going to jump up above 10 megawatt, but the maximum is going to be a lot more reasonable. I thought I placed... Oh, the beacon's in the way. Of course. Well, the beacon has to be in the middle. It's going to touch all of these. That's fine. Oh, am I out of pylon nope? Nope, I've got plenty of pylon nope. My bots are being very lazy right now. Alright. Plus 10%. Negative 80% power. 
and significantly less slowdown. What about over here? Let's get rid of the old poles. Whoops. Whoops. Oh, I think I broke it. Uh, we'll fix it, don't worry. Don't worry, it's fine. Doop doop, what do we find? Oh, there's two to check out. Borod, Dolly, and Ossus. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, since we've only got two prod modules, we can probably go for more speeds. Negative 50% power consumption. We'll go for the minimum, I think. Double check the belts can keep up. Judging by the movement of them, they definitely can. Yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, and we'll put another one of these over here. And we need to connect this back to these red wires, I believe. No big deal. It's fine. Although it might have increased it to the point where the sides of the belt matter. How much, uh... 53.453 net enriched vulcanite per second. That's a little bit more than one belt. Um... But it's not actually one belt. This goes here. This goes here. And then enriched vulcanite from this side has one belt. So this is actually a bit less than a red belt. So if we merge this properly here, all of our problems will be solved forever. Fantastic. That should be fine. Are we experiencing train difficulties? Doesn't look like it. I can't actually see from here. Everything, it seems, is alright. Nope. What are you doing? You're looking for 5,000. So... The provide stack threshold is actually only 80. Oh, I see what this is. But also... Yeah, no, that's fine. Alright, bump that up to 120, and push to the front unconditionally, and we'll want to update down here as well. Seems good. It's all coming together, bit by bit. Sixteen K, that sounds like a multiple of forty or eighty stacks. Is this necessarily gonna be balanced though? It is not. 
Um, actually, it kind of should be. I guess. How how balanced is it? Uh, it's looking very balanced, actually. Perfectly balanced. Dare I say? Nope, not quite perfectly balanced. But it's going to look horrible if I merge this and split it again. These are all prod 2s as well. I should go fix that one. Stone is a little bit precious. At this stage. Where's my prod modules? Here we go. We have no prods? No! Give me some more Vulcanite blocks. Where could they be going? Let me just drop this off. Uh, let me just drop this off. Shift C doesn't seem to be working. There we go. Pyroflux? Yeah, but I would have thought we'd have enough, you know? Neat trains, indeed. Uh, Silent Storm, Thonian, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Jacobaz also. Wait, this is a lot of... This is a ton of Vulcanite blocks. What the hell? What? 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 Also, I have this here, but I never did set the train limit based on it. Um, I'll probably just get rid of that. Since we've decided to not set train limits to control the vanilla trains. So, this is a crap ton of Vulcanite blocks. Um, Vulcanite blocks to make Pyroflux is totally saturated. Why do we have no Vulcanite blocks up here? We're looking for 16k. Request stack threshold 100. Ride stack threshold 160. Short trains and long trains are permitted. I can't find a single reason. Um, Vulcanite block, 16k. Oh, I changed the... okay. I changed the request stack threshold to 100, and I think this is less than 100. Um, that's probably why. Uh, divided by 200, that's 80 stacks. And we don't really have to worry. Okay, if I have four chests for each resource, that's 48 times 4, um, is 192. If we're completely full on a resource, we're going to have four stacks left in here. And we have like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, at most, we've got like 52 stacks of stuff left in here. And the logistic network will report the rest of it. I could always just add more storage chests, but I don't think we really need to. Uh, I think it's safe to bump up our requests to 100 stacks for each of these. Wasn't that set to 8k? Hold up. 8,000. 
160 stacks. I I did a bad math. There we go. 5,000. Uh. Seems like we'd be asking for too much Imasite crystal. 2.4. 4.8. Yeah. Um, so that should be like 5,000. We're just going to request these things when they're empty. I think. Or maybe a little bit more. Why don't I just add more storage for these things? That would probably be the smarter thing to do. Except I can't make it all nice and neat. 200, 100. 200, 100. Wait, why was that 32k? And why aren't we over full on red circuits if that's the case? Seems a little strange. Maybe I was counting on using the actual loaders as well. Or maybe because some of them share resource? No. I am thoroughly confused at what I was thinking earlier on. Or maybe I'm just doing a very bad math right now. But yeah, there's our Vulcanite blocks. Uh, and everything else, as it turns out. You're getting tons of sulfur delivered? Indeed. I mean, it takes two stacks of sulfur to make a single productivity three. So that's like 60 stacks of sulfur right there. 60% of one of the new trains. Uh, it takes it takes a whole train load of sulfur to make one stack of prod three modules. But yeah, we fixed it. Lots of troubleshooting today, but I guess it's not that surprising. Uh, moving over to the new trains. But also, we still have the mystery of LTN misbehaving a little bit. Like, I don't know why. If I set this at... Um... No, we found this one was making sense, actually, didn't we? It was like Pyroflux here, for example. When I set the provide threshold to 60k, uh, it kept trying to pick up 60k when there was 50k. And I haven't a single clue why it would do that. So we just went and bumped up the pro uh, provide threshold significantly higher. Doesn't LTN have a generic timeout if nothing happens in half an hour? Uh, no. Maybe by default. I think it's 10 minutes. I mean, it has a bunch of time, different timeouts if you don't change the mod options. Archimaxes, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Order of magnitude error on solid fuel. Order of magnitude? What? Oh, when I was typing over here. Solid fuel... Uh, yeah, you're right. Alright, let's check out these new discoveries, shall we? We've got... Bord... Bordoli? Bordoli. And I should probably research some more while we're waiting. Uh, Bordoli is... Quite far away from Hagen. Mid size, kind of biggish. Regala system, Cryonite. Uh, probably don't care unless, again, it is extremely.
extremely close to uh, the outside of the solar system. What did I say was the name of the... Oh, here it is. Here's Bod Dolly. Yeah, no, don't care. We're going for planets that are super close to the interstellar map. Because late game, that's what matters by far the most for the distance that we're going to have to travel. Ossis? Uh, is mineral water. It's in the Calamity system. Kind of far kind of big. It's got a lot of biters. I don't think I can care about that. Uh, then we've got Waylop. Waylop. Uranium. Okay, you have my attention. Uh, it's in the Cephi system. It's pretty damn far away. Which means if we exploit it now, we're going to be crashing a lot of cargo rockets. But I believe this is our first uranium ore ore fragment system, uh, planet. Uh, where is Cephi? Here it is. Waylop. It's got kind of a lot of biters and it's kind of big though. We'll put that one on the back burner. And then we've got Ezra. Which is in Brunus. Uh, how far is it? Really far. 171,000 is Brunus. And that's the only planet in the system that we know of so far. Uh, we got rare metals, kind of big. Uh, some biters. I think we care. Kind of brave. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How did you manage Vulcanite when you expanded to a planet with it? Uh, did you ship... The ore home or what? Trying to figure out how to manage water, etc. Sulfur, Petro. Uh, the way I'm dealing with Vulcanite is I'm not dealing with any of that mess on the outpost. There are some inefficiencies involved in this, of course, but I think it's worth, especially because I want to make when I can upgrade the outposts with spaceships and space elevators, uh, I want the outposts to all have the absolute minimum amount of stuff on them. Uh, I want them to all have the smallest footprint possible. So, even if I were to temporarily have a lot of processing on the planet, that's just a whole lot more mess to clean up later on. Uh, but also, depending on the core fragment type, even without productivity bonuses, uh, some of them, not all of them, you actually get more stacks worth of stuff after you break them down. Uh, and that's not counting the fluid that you also get that you'd have to barrel or something, or just use it all on the planet. Um, but once you start using productivity bonuses on top of that, to break down the core fragments. Uh, you're looking at more and more and more stuff. I mean, Vulcanite only stacks to 20. So already, if we take one Vulcanite core fragment with no productivity bonus, ignore the core fragments, ignore the stone, ignore the pyroflux, we're getting one and a quarter stacks of Vulcanite out of it. So unless you're going to go through a lot of steps to, I don't know, turn it all into uh, Vulcanite blocks before you send it back. And I'm guessing there's probably a reason or two that you need some of these other things. Uh, we need enriched Vulcanite actually to make, uh, was it Holonite? No, it was uh, Iridite. 
Yeah, we need it. We need enriched vulcanite to make iridite. Um, so it definitely wouldn't do to process it all the way down to the most stack dense thing, and send that back to our main base, because then we'd have to like make an exception and also send uh, enriched vulcanite back. Alright, uh, there was something else I wanted to do in the Informatron. Here we go. Task satellites to find similar structures. Uh, I forgot that I had to click this last time. Archaeology. It turns out we've actually got a whole lot of uh, structures that we found. Uh, let's organize it by hierarchy so we can see what's in... Well, why don't we do it by delta V? See what's in our own system. Uh, Nalva's orbit has a wreck. Asteroid belt has a wreck. We knew that already. Granus has a pyramid. We already went there. Sage? Uh, where is Sage? Sage is here. There's a mysterious structure on Sage. I don't know how excited I am about mineral water core fragments. So far, just the mineral water that I've gotten from other core fragments uh, seems to be most of everything I need. It's probably maybe quicker to just click all these. Zakol, Indigo, Shiva, Gibil. Hyperion has a mysterious structure. Uh, Muir has a mysterious structure. Damn, 8.8k copper. That's going to be so good later on. Oh, it's got zero biters. Bruh. Did I forget that we have a giant copper planet with zero biters? Um, that's kind of useful. It's going to take an obscene amount of liquid rocket fuel to get the copper off planet, but what I could do is maybe send it back by delivery cannons, which just costs more energy. Except, then we have to think about Bonk. Uh, then we have to think about, do we want to send it back as copper or... Oh wait, we send it back as core fragments. It's not terribly resource efficient. But it's a hell of a lot more fuel efficient. Um, we do have ocean, we do have water. I could do a giant... Um, liquid rocket fuel build like this, only bigger, where the only resource that we're not getting for free to make the liquid rocket fuel is iron. But it's going to take a lot, and I do mean a lot, of liquid rocket fuel if I use cargo rockets to bring it back. This is probably the same conversation I had earlier. Maybe I should Maybe I should already be looking at making a space elevator on another planet. Looks like an application for sending copper ingots. Yeah, but again, I don't want that giant sprawling mess on each outpost. I think, I think this is the perfect excuse um, to start a space elevator on another planet. We've been having negative 6,000 difficulties keeping up with our space elevator cable. Uh, let's see how much space elevator cable we've been consuming so far. Um, 
in the last hour we produced 26.2 per minute because there was a spike. 3.3 .3 per minute. 3.3 per minute over 10 hours. 3.3 per minute over 30 hours. You get the idea. Or 50 hours. How far off are spaceships? Uh, technically it's just Astro 3. But we also want energy 2 to get ion at the very least before we start using spaceships. And I could technically do it in the spaghetti science, but I really don't want to. Um, I want to do it properly to get that far. But we do have exactly one spaceship with ion engines uh, that we can use before we have that technology. So... We could do, you know, we could do some basic infrastructure, some power. Ooh, I didn't even think of this. Uh, we can send, what is it, six gigawatts down the space elevator? So we can do solar power. Whoops, that's, that's fine, I guess. There's the structure. Uh, we can do solar power in orbit. Send all uh, send all the power we need downstairs. Six gigawatts is uh, up to two hundred and forty uh, core mining drills, if I'm not mistaken. That's way more than we need. Is it really as easy as all that? I need to rebuild and configure our existing spaceship. But yeah, like, copper is by far our most consistent problem resource. And we've got this monstrosity just waiting. Uh, we'll also have to... deliver space elevator cables up the elevator. Whoops. Unless... I don't think I can, like, just take space elevator cables like this, right? No. No, I cannot. Is it cheaper to raise it to the elevator and then fire? Oh, you mean for the cannons? Uh... Only in terms of electricity, but the reason that we would use delivery cannons is either we don't need high throughput, or we want to pay electricity to not have to pay liquid rocket fuel. Uh, it, it is materially more expensive, except for not needing liquid rocket fuel to send stuff by cannon. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking Zone has a generated surface. Yes, it does. I I'm thinking we can exploit Muir already. This is very exciting. Okay, um, we're going to do a vanilla pickup for space elevator cables. Um, and I think I'll just put that right here. Do it? Yeah, I believe I will. Doop -a doop Um I wanted to just extend the rail out here, but that might be a bit messy. No, I th think that is probably fine to be honest. Although, ideally, I'd like to have the space elevator pick up be right before the space elevator. Like, what if it was here? Or something? Nah, I, I think I like, I like it better to put it up here. 
I could even just put another station here. So I don't think I like the look of that. This is maybe technically worse because we need more signals and stuff. But I don't think I care. Um, except now this signal's upset. Is that it? I think that's fine. And then we put our train stop in the usual spot. I'll do a bulk rail loader. And I kind of want to make sure I prioritize putting space elevator cable in the space elevator. But then the belt is 45 per second. Um, I, I, I think it's going to stay saturated regardless. Um, oh wait, this will not be an LTN stop. I mean, it can be an LTN stop, but if it's going to be vanilla trains only picking up from here, I would rather... Uh, I would rather just have a vanilla stop. Also, I could make vanilla trains able to pick up the cables from here, but... This way we can just give them a really short trip instead of going all the way back over there. And we never have to worry about the vanilla train blocking an LTN train picking up the spell elevator cables. And this way we don't accidentally implicitly prioritize sending cables elsewhere as opposed to arguably our most important space elevator. So I think that'll be fine. Um, this goes here though, does it? That doesn't look right. There we go. Um, actually, now that I think of it, with st such a small stack size and everything, uh, I really don't want to have to rely on the usual sort of oversupply mess. So let's just do this like that. Looks a little bit weird. Probably fine. Okay. So this will be set to... I could set it to enable disable, but then the train would skip it. Which means I need a combinator. I really wish they didn't make it so you needed a decider combinator for such a simple... vanilla train setup. Uh, this is able provider, but for vanilla train stops, or oh, vanilla trains, or trains with vanilla schedules. I do have a mind to replace um, all of our space elevator trains with the faster ones. And uh, Junior, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, set train limit L, that's fine, I guess. Or how about space elevator cable? 
since that's what this is all about. If space elevator cable greater than or equal to 2000, set train limit to 1. And then we need a train for delivering space elevator cables. For now, I'm just going to keep doubling down on using the vanilla trains for this. Although, I guess it would be more efficient as well. Okay, at the very least... I should start using the modern cargo wagons because uh, sending uh, sending a train up the space elevator costs five plus the number of item stacks. So the bigger the train, the more efficient. Uh, it is a very it is by a shockingly small margin. Um, we did the math comparing uh, train sizes, but it is more efficient. That said, um, I guess I'll go get some more... Why, why is my inventory full of cables? Get out of here. I think I'll go get some more fancy trains. Can I do all of those on the ground? Snowball? Okie dokie. Uh, where would you like your name? Under the space elevator? Seems to be the most popular place right now. I think we can do all of this on the ground. That would probably be easier. Sure. Okie dokie. Snowball. And let's see where we can fit it. That doesn't get blocked by the random nasty bit of ground. How about here? Should probably go make some nice plated... Uh, Brain blank words hard. Some nice uh, super concrete, basically. And give me some of this, and give me some of that. And we'll take it back to the mall downstairs so I don't have to come here just for that next time. Thank you, you're welcome. So I'll be a little bit lazy this time and just put a nice uh, space cargo wagon on some regular locomotives, but uh, probably upgrading all of these to use the batteries is on my to-do list. Talking of snow, can see it falling outside my study window. Nice. Never had snow here. Toby! Thank you very much for the two Hi. months, Prime Gaming. Thank you so much. Hi to you as well. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. Um, can we shift C? More or less. Give me some... Oh, I see. Alright, give me exactly one... No, two space cargo wagons, and some regular locomotives. Oh, here we go. And then... Uh, we're gonna go... I, I, I should probably make the drop-off 
upstairs first. Oh, we've got a bunch of them available. Fantastic. That makes it a bit easier. We're never sending contaminated scrap downstairs, are we? Because I, I believe we can only deal with it in space. Yes. So in that case, this block, the space elevator cables. Oh, wait. This is backward. This is... This is for sending stuff downstairs. Um, so I kind of do need to make a new block. Unless I want to, like, turn one of these around. I would like it to be close to the space elevator. I guess it doesn't matter that much, actually, and all of these are kind of close to the space elevator. Alright, so vanilla to LTN in space elevator. Uh, did I just paste that on top of the existing block? Oh no. Did I mess up the train stop names? No, they seem to be okay. Okay. Combinator settings seem to be okay. I I don't know how we didn't cause a problem there. Okay. Vanilla to LTN. Here, please. Let's grab our construction train. Park it about here. Wait for inactivity, 30 seconds. Maybe I should put the, uh, the super-powered space locomotives on the construction train. Did I at least give it some engine things? Where are you going? Oh, I see. I haven't filled these out. Uh, I did give it the additional electric engines. This is just how fast it goes now. I'm getting too used to these incredibly fast uh, space trains. Just returned from store. Lightly snowing outside. Everything is covered in a few centimeters. Nice. I'm just waiting for all of the scaffolding to be placed so that we can actually finish dropping this blueprint. How about using both train at construction? Uh, what do you mean by both train? I was thinking of putting the the battery-powered space locomotives on the construction train. Even though it would be a bit of a nuisance dealing with the batteries, uh, the speed of it is delicious. Um, I did try putting the space locomotive, uh, sorry, space cargo wagons on the construction train, but for some reason, um, the bots don't work. They do work, but only if you switch it to manual. Um, I, I, I have no idea why this would be. I would imagine even the mod author has no idea why this would be. But yeah, for some reason, vanilla cargo wagons with equipment grid, with robots. Uh, the bots work when the train is on automatic and just stopped somewhere. Um, for some reason, if you use the space cargo wagons, the train has to be on manual. I, I don't know why. Did we actually place everything in one go? Cool. Okay. Um, so I want... Probably a spellivator cable right about here.
Table. Provider. Uh, provide stack threshold 120. That seems okay to me. And if everything equals zero, output train limit one. I don't think we're going to need this kind of throughput for a stack size 20 uh, thing. Uh, but yeah, we should now be able to set this thing's schedule. Uh, Spellevator cable. Spellevator cable. Empty. Fill. So it's going to go up the elevator, go to depot, wait until this has train limit greater than zero, drop off cables, go down space elevator, go to depot, wait until this is available, full cargo spell elevator cables, go up the elevator, and so on. Space train behind ground train for speed. Wow, that was fast. Uh, I, space train behind ground train for speed? Wait, you mean like... Like, like this? I don't think that's going to be faster. I mean, if you wanted the maximum for speed, you'd just go for more space locomotives. Uh, maybe I'm misunderstanding. Okay, let's test this out. Actually, let me in. Let me in. 71 entities are missing material for construction on Gibil. Which one's Gibil again? The Iridite planet. We're missing a bunch of efficiency ones. Depending on how this goes... Well, no. Uh, wait, why did I jump out of the train? I don't remember pressing enter. Up the elevator we go. Fantastic. Um, why is it trying to go into... Are all of the depot stops full? Oh. Uh, okay. We need more depot. We need a little bit. I think we should start going this way, though. Um, we have the blueprint. I hope it's up to date. Vanilla depot LCCL. Not build on empty space. Wait, did I forget to include the scaffolding for this? I see zero scaffolding. Um, okay. There's a bunch of unnecessary scaffolding left over here still. This is literally the bare minimum of scaffolding. Maybe plus a little bit. Oh, let me just do it this way for now. Tiles. Go. Here. And bring on ye old construction train. Wait for inactivity. Activity. Um, I kind of want to clear out, or well, not clear out, I kind of want to fill out these empty blocks as well. So the train can pass through there naturally. Where's our train? Here it comes. Uh, 
And then... Once the scaffolding is placed... Vanilla, depot, L, double C, L. Fantastic. Why? Oh. Oh, I included an upgrade path. Put the batteries in. That was, that was good of me. Even if I say so. Well, that'll be relatively easy to update. this uh, blueprint. Let's jump into the editor and into the space block. This is already... For the moment, it will just be easy to do this. Alright. Vanilla, depot, L double C, L. And we're going to make sure... What the? Oh, did I try it with, with the regular rail? I did, didn't I? Cannot build on empty space. What are you on about? Alright, fine. Scaffolding. Everywhere. And we'll just remove the excess afterwards. How did you jump into the editor? Is that a mod? Yes, it is. Uh, the mod is called Editor Extensions, and if you want to have this uh, parallel surface to your main save, you want to go to Mod Settings, Per Player, and down the bottom under Editor Extensions, uh, there's a setting called Testing Lab. So that's the Per Player tab under Mod Settings. All the win. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright. So we should be able to build that like so. Get rid of the old power piles. And... And then we just use this to remove... All of the unnecessary scaffolding. Maybe not that much unnecessary scaffolding. Uh, and that'll do for now. That looks kind of weird. Okay. For some reason there is a space loader missing here. Also, I'm pretty sure those should all be uh, blue inserters. Alright, let's update that blueprint. Hopefully we can just go select new contents. I'm skeptical about what's going to happen with the bulk rail stuff. And back to the game. Let's try. Is that 
probably looks okay, actually. Oh, and our vanilla train is already using it. And there it goes, delivering... Uh, spell evader cables. Right about here. Can I not click this again? There we go. Cool. That has to be more than a couple of train loads that it already finished while I wasn't looking. Alright, did we finish building this? Not quite. Uh, it looks like we just need eight regular train stops. Whoops. Can, can you hide that for the moment? There we go. Right then. Uh, yeah, it's already taken as many trips as it needs to. Um, in order to saturate. Shockingly enough. So we're going to have a bit of a spike in producing space elevator cables. Just, just a little bit. But overall, we should probably be fine. Probably. Do we not have airframe poles? We do. Wait, what, what does my rate calc say here? 21 airframe poles per second. We're getting like half of that. Uh, whoops. I made an oopsie. I, I may have either just forgotten the throughput of this thing when I added some beacons or I don't know what. But apparently we need twice as many arrowframe poles for this thing to go full speed. Um... Oopsie daisy. Uh, but yeah, we don't seem to have any uh, any issues with the material resources that we need for this. So, we now have space elevator cables uh, coming up to orbit. As a matter of course. Which means we can start planning delivering them to uh, Muir automatically. So if, what we want to do now is redesign our spaceship. Do we already have Ion Stream in the rail network? Not quite. I believe it's one more step after Plasma Stream. Um, yeah, it's literally just Rare Metals plus Plasma Stream. Where do I want to do that? Maybe right next to... Uh... Uh, I think I'll do a block like here or here to Ion Stream. Uh, zone Discovery is getting away from me. I haven't looked at Constance Ravecutio. Let's just have a peek. Constance is pretty damn far away. It's got a mysterious structure, waterless, maximum biters, and it's stone. It's in the Brunus system. Brunus is 
don't remember where. Maybe I'm not looking far enough. Runners. Constance. It's pretty far. Uh, even if we have the anomaly, it's relatively far away. Probably never going to be a candidate. Um, what was the next one? Rove Cutio? I don't know how to pronounce it. Wait, what? Right click seems to clear it. Immersite. Is this our first one? I think... No, we've had a few, actually. Um, The closest Immersite one is 64k away. That's relatively close. Does it have lots of biters? It has zero biters. We've already had a peak on the surface, actually. Um, yeah, I, I think that's that's a definite candidate for soon-ish. Rove Cutio has hardly any biters. It is almost as big as a planet gets. It's in the Merlime system. It's over here. Uh, and it's quite far away from the interstellar map. Red Genie is looking really good for late game barrel. Not too interested in that right now. Uh, Bombato. Bombato is Vitamelange. We, we haven't seen much Vitamelange yet. It is kind of far away. Bite of Meteors, of course. Solar is 7%, so it's way out there in the solar system. Uh, it's in the Vizana system. Hardly any biters. Big planet. For a Vitamelange planet, it doesn't have many biters anyway. Um, where is Vazanus? Vazanus. There it is. Way over to the left. And sure enough, Bombato is extremely close to the interstellar map. That's a big candidate for late game. But not a candidate for now. Not even a little bit. Last is Kulimon. Kulimon. How's the base coming? The Rizia. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, base is coming along pretty well, but there's just so many little jobs to do. 17% uh, mineral wa uh, biters, mineral water, kind of far from Hagen. Mid-range size, solar, 76%, so it's probably pretty far from the interstellar map. It's in the Nalara system. And it has a pyramid. Where is Nalara? There it is. Yep, it's like middle of the range distance from the interstellar map. So for our late game plans, we're always looking for the minimum solar power and the biggest planet possible, I think. Alright, back to our plan to exploit Muir with our first uh, interplanetary space elevator. Well, first I need to do a build for uh, Ion Stream. That should be pretty easy. Let's have a look-see. Um, and let me go 
get rid of this as well, actually. That's fine. This can go. Uh, let's get our default lock in. Fill the middle of it with scaffolding. Which we'll remove when we're done. Um, and I think we want probably default IO, except it's all fluids, isn't it? Ion Strim is it's one step particle accelerator. Was it particle accelerator that we used for this? No, it was not. This is particle accelerator. So I think we're just going to fit like eight of them in a half block. We'll see if we end up doing that. Definitely want to fit it under a wide area beacon. Um, at least to have the potential for later. Can we get rid of these efficiencies for the moment? Seems good. So how fast is this? Uh, less than one rare metals per second. What happens if we go super fast? With wide area beacon twos. Negative 80% power. Still negative 80%. Uh, and that's 103 megawatt each. Okay. So how fast would this be? Only 840 per second. And 8.4 rare metals. That's actually a really easy, comfortable fit in terms of throughput from our trains and pumps and stuff and pipes. Okay. Rare metals. I'd kind of like to have them just go down the middle. Can we fit that comfortably? Uh, we definitely can. have some long arms and some short arms and then how many tiles is this? Nine? It is nine which means we can't do a convenient pattern. Well unless I do some threes I don't think that looks particularly good. Uh, let's just do it this way. Actually, does this reach? It does not. Okay. So we'll just do this pattern. Or input-output of fluids. Nice and easy. Bit of regular space pipe. And up this end. Uh, and we don't need any solid pickup. Only fluid. One huge storage tank. Um, I'll probably have this end look like this. And how about a pump?
uh, and then this wire can't reach. I think I'll make it the standard that we just connect our settings wire like this for these things. Alright, provide stack threshold is irrelevant. Provide threshold is 60k, although I honestly don't trust that at this point with the weird behavior from our trains lately. Um, just because it's all fluid and the solids are so slow, 840 per second, I think I would like to have the huge storage tank on this side so that pumps can output as quickly as possible. And we need not summon more than a little bit of rare metals. So it won't get imbalanced. Even if we don't bother balancing it. Even if it were to somehow only take from this side indefinitely, if we're only asking for a train load or two, and it could all fit in one bulk rail unloader, then we don't have to worry. So, rare metals. Um, 100, 100 is one train load. Let's ask for 1.5 times that. And as for uh, Plasma Stream, we'll do the usual, about 100k. And this is Plasma Stream and Rare Metals going into Particle Accelerator. And out comes Ion Stream. Fantastic. Um, and the wires should reach here. That's easy. And I think that's the build. Easy as that. And we can obviously uh, double it easily if we so desire. Um, although I could, technically, no, well, we could go for like 50% more, that'd be 1.26k per second. And I just have to have this belt go over here as well. That actually fits pretty well. I might just do that. And then... Like this. I have the belt just come through here instead of any splitter nonsense. Actually, it's so slow. Um, I'm sure it's fine if I just... You know what? Let's do it this way. You can just push it all to one container and then bring it over here. Or I could just put a splitter over here, that would probably look just, just a bit neater. 
perhaps. Okay, so that is late game uh, 1.26k uh, particle stream, or sorry, ion stream per second. Uh, at this stage of the game, though, we'll probably just go for some minimum power consumption in each of these. Should be more than enough to keep up with our current needs. 120 per second. And then we remove excess scaffolding. Maybe add a little bit back. Um, just so it doesn't look so tacky. Didn't connect input tank yet. Um, I did though. Because we can reach it across here. Inri, Inri. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Don't want that bit of scaffolding lying around. And I think that looks pretty good. Except for this bit. Is there scaffolding under this thing? There is. Uh, undo didn't work. Let's fix that. No, I meant connect them to the buildings. Oh, right. Yeah, that would probably help. Just maybe. Let me do it like this. That actually is going to seem fairly neat, I think. Very consistent. Bonk indeed. Um, and over here. Can I do the same thing? That looks pretty good to me. Although, strictly speaking, that bit doesn't need to be... Oh, whatever. That's fine. Oh, and this uh, output needs to connect as well. What's the most elegant way to make this happen? Probably up here. What's this? Seven... No, nine and... Eighteen, nineteen tiles. So we could do a 15 and a few little ones. Or we could do a 9. And a 5 and a 5. Fantastic. Lull indeed. Uh, I think that's our blueprint. Uh, let's test it. Why not? Even if it's a very simple build. We may as well... Make sure it actually works. Except I need some scaffolding to do that. That's actually too far, isn't it? Looks good. I see the gears turning, and I see Iron Stream. Seems good. Iron 
Open Stream Provider. Fantastic. Let's blueprint. I on stream. Files, train stop names, entities, modules. Uh, snap to grid, 86, 25, and 1. Do the fluids travel via Bluetooth in empty space? <laughs> Indeed. Scale the summit. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, these are obviously under space pipes. What do you mean? They're just they're just going underneath the space. Like, duh. Obviously. Snap to grid looks good. Let's put Ion Stream down here. And... Did I look at Coolimon? I think I did. And let's put our Ion Stream build here. Right next to its main source. May as well ride the construction train. Uh, we might need some extra scaffolding. I'll take it. And wait until inactivity. A subspace transporter, indeed. I can hear the uh, hyperspace music theme from Star Control 2 as we speak. Did I set this to like 15 seconds? That's a bit aggressive. As long as we get this started, it's fine. I didn't pick up the, uh, the particle accelerators. I'm not putting every machine in the train because the stack sizes are terrible and there's just too many things. What's the green stream called again? I believe it's Proton Stream, yes. I'll confirm in a sec. They really don't like building things in a convenient order. I wish we could just get them to do the scaffolding first, like, as a default, like, built into it. Did we not bring enough scaffolding? I've, I've got plenty of scaffolding. My bots just weren't doing anything. Bruh. Okay, does that mean we can finally place everything? I believe it does. Left click, no shift. Fantastic. And I'm going to have to come back with 12 particle accelerators. Also, now that I look at it... Um... Does... Well, that's a mess. Uh, does this beacon encroach on the opposite side? It kind of does, but I'm pretty sure it, it wouldn't reach if we did a symmetrical build. So that's fine. Alright, let's go get ourselves 12 particle accelerators. Oh, and to confirm... This is indeed Proton Stream. Okay. Uh, particle Accelerator is in this chest. 
Uh, that is 13 particle accelerators. Perfect. I could probably go around making sure I place that extra bit of scaffolding as well. That the construction train probably hasn't placed yet. Fantastic. Alright, so by the time we redesign our spaceship, uh, there's going to be plenty of... plenty of iron stream available from the rail network. Space is really starting to come together. I like what I see. Especially the space base, because it's so, you know, planned and cleaned right from the start. Well, unless you count this as the start, this is this is less clean and planned and more um she'll be right. But she's actually not right. She's actually mentally very troubled. Glorious Spaghetti, Kuchen, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I might just get construction train to visit all of these little spots. Wait for a little bit of inactivity. And then over here. And then... Wasn't there a spot up here? I guess not. Or am I seeing the scaffolding on the map? Yeah, it looks very similar to the... Uh, uh, to the solar panels on the map. I was only thinking of placing the rail, so I sort of forgot to do this. Uh, and one more stop up here on the way back. Oh, that should be fine. I've already got 16k ion stream. Time to design our spaceship. And I'm not going to worry too much about the spaceship design at this stage. I can't do spaceship design in the editor extensions, uh, the extra space that we can jump to that's parallel, the surface that's parallel to our main game. Um, it won't let you do anything that can interact with other surfaces. So you'll have to have a separate save to experiment with things like that. Um, but I'm not going to jump into a separate save just to slap together. Um, probably I'm not even going to add the other ion stream engine that we've got somewhere. Because power is by far the main bottleneck. Uh, and it's got a minimum power consumption of a third of a megawatt. Um, and I'm just going to run this off of solar panels. We're, we're only going between Hagen and Muir, so uh, it'll be horribly slow because we're just running off solar. Um, but it's a very short trip and we don't need that much throughput yet. Um, but it is going to be an infinite source of copper. Um, unfortunately, slash fortunately, I don't have the option to use a rocket engine. Since we only have a couple of ion engines from our 
Grand Theft Spaceship. Okay. Uh, I think I would like to put all of our spaceship specific stuff in here. I think there's also like a clamp back here. Should also be some spaceship floor. I see nothing spaceship related in this container or this container or this container. That's a combinator or this container or okay. Holmium accumulators. Can we make those yet? No. Holmium accumulators are quite kind of spaceship related. Uh, we can research Holmium accumulators. Nice. That costs energy control units. Let's do that. Okay. So there's nothing strictly spaceship related in this container either. Um, there's a little bit of ion stream in here that I'd be a bit loath to waste, but... Wait, are these the only ion booster tanks we have? I guess so. They are more than enough, though. Is there any Holmium solar panel? Uh, yeah, we've got at least one. Uh, we've got, I believe we've literally just got two. Do we not have the technology? We do not. Uh, let me just search for Holmium Solar Panel. And I want to find entities as well as in storage. We've got two. We're looking at them. Um, what's our maximum? We can only go to 300 hull stress. Alright, I really don't want to waste that much ion stream, even though it's pretty small in the grand scheme of things. Um, let's pump it over here. And then we can move the spaceship with a clean conscience. It's only like 10k or something. Well, it's a bit more than that, actually. Maybe I should seriously limit, like maybe only have two for the symmetry of it. We'll have a couple of booster tanks to connect to this. Because every little bit of stress, container stress, is going to be the bottleneck, I think. Actually, I don't know. There's probably going to be, like, some imperfect gap where we can't use all 300. And uh, I could use as much hull stress as possible so we have more solar panels. Also, also... Oh, here's our spaceship floor. We've got... Probably way more than of that than we can possibly use with our 300 hull stress. Okay. Halem Grandmaster, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, looks like we're down to just some whiffs of Ion Stream. You can use uranium ammo for destroying some obstacles instead of laser. That might not be the worst idea. 
Except then we have to do the logistics of supplying it. It also costs us container stress to have the uranium ammo. Unless, let's say this was a gun turret, we could maybe, maybe supply the ammo like this. That actually might be an excellent idea. Um, I believe we've already got uranium up here. Ammo doesn't benefit from any prod bonuses. Um, we need to make rifle magazine, iron plate, copper plate, coal. That's pretty easy. Then again, probably just uh, piercing rifle mags are going to be good enough. Like, we're not going to be able to go very fast. The um, the power bottleneck is more the engine than the laser turrets, but we would get more speed out of using the gun turrets. Um, but that said, for our purposes, for until we get spaceships designed properly, um, I think it's going to be more than enough regardless. Uh, I'm not going to have the bots pick that up because who knows where it'll go. A little bit at a time. Should make sure it's my personal bots picking all of these up actually. Fantastic. Whoa, that was weird. I was like, I'm gonna make a show of the slow animation and then he just shot across. If I put all my scaffolding in here, can I pick up the rest? Fantastic. Now the question is, where do I want to put it? Um... That's actually a good question, because even though this is going to be a temporary build, I want to think about where I want my spaceships to come in. It probably doesn't matter that much, to be honest. How many different types of core fragments are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I do want to leave room for them all, even if I don't end up using them all. So I couldn't quite put them in here. But that's probably fine. I think I'm overestimating how much I need to value being close to the space elevator. Not to mention, if we really need to, we can always make another space elevator. Okay. That, all of that being said, I think I'll just... build our temporary spaceship setup in a way that's convenient for the short term. We're going to get rid of this eventually anyway, and this way it'll just not be in the way. Let's get our construction train up in range. Wait for inactivity.
Do I have iron, copper, and coal? I do. Uh, available straight from the rail network. So I could just make the ammo on the spot. Rather than worry about having it delivered from the mall or something. I'm never going to use uranium ammo for my own weapons. And there isn't another type of turret that I would use for this. Let me go grab some more scaffolding. a regular old drop-off over here. Put flamethrowers on your spaceship. Uh, I don't believe you can, but I can imagine what that might look like, and it's hilarious. Because I think the flames... Can I fire this? Yeah, the flames would just end up like, sitting there in space as if they're on the ground, and the asteroids would run into them and take damage. Uh, you could probably stand at the front of a spaceship and chuck fire out the front. Yep. Okay, so we're going to have input here for Ion Stream and everything that's needed to make uh, uranium bullets. Since we're going to be extremely bottlenecked on power. Um, so just to confirm, that is iron, copper, coal, and uranium, I believe. This is just in the robot network. Fantastic. You know, with how close this is, maybe it would be easier to just have the mole make the uranium. No problem as long as fuel has enough oxygen in it. Indeed. Okay, so... These three, and then add uranium. Simple as that. Can I just do, like... What do we got? 320? If we have three trainloads of stuff... That's 300. I don't have any space loaders right now. Let me let me just expand this uh, building area real quick. Yeah, that'll make it easier. So if we were to, for instance, what I have no space belt. I must transport. Uh, what if I just put filters on this? 
coal, iron, and copper. So all of that goes in here. And all the uranium goes back here. This is a weird build. I kind of like it. So if we've got exactly one train load of each of these things, we'll have 20 stacks spare on this side. And obviously a lot spare on this side. Uh, and we'll also ask for iron stream. Although we're not going to be able to have it underground here. And then we make the spaceship. That's actually all of the floor that I've got. Uh, maybe we will need more. I mean, maybe we won't actually reach 300. Um... Whole stress. Let's see what this looks like. Um, integrity check. 226 out of 300. I'm not sure if we can make a ship that's too big for the whole stress. With our limited supply of lore. Oh no, where's it taking it? No, 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 give it back. No, 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 I said give it. Drop it. Now I have to go pick it up. Spaceship floor... ...is in this container. Give it back, how dare you. Stole one, indeed. Perfect. Okay. The freaking bots are... My, my personal bots are not picking this up. At all. Oh, I probably do want to put that there, actually. We've got 23 left. Plus what's in my hand, I guess? Okay. How much hull stress is this? Um, 369 out of 300. Okay, cool. So we are bottlenecked on how much spaceship floor we have. You know what? I'm going to remove this. That's not going to help. No, no, no. Don't take it. Don't. How dare you. Um, can I just measure 300 here? That's 231. So we can probably go to about here. Hey, Tran, do you... Uh, did you save your start blueprint somewhere? My start blueprint? I'm not sure what you mean, and I think the answer's no. Ridley? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How can I make sure my bots pick this up? Grumble, grumble. Ugh, I'll just set some requests for it. Spaceship floor. All of it. Bring it back. How dare you. So like the beginning mall, then uh, when you started the game. Uh, I didn't really have a blueprint for that, I just sort of winged it. Or do you mean the, like, the main bus base that I ended up making? They are very, very slowly bringing back the spaceship floor. This feels like malicious compliance. Okay. Um, in 
integrity check. 295 out of 300. That's kind of perfect. Although we're lacking a bit of symmetry right now. More than all, I really think it's hard to make one that doesn't look like... Dot, dot, dot. Uh-huh. Um... Just go to editor. Oh, to make the spaceship? I can't. Anything that is... Could send items across different surfaces. Um, I can't use in this editor. Not in the surface that's parallel to our main save. If I, if I use editor extensions with another save, um, that's fine. Where, like, the whole thing is just editor extensions or something. We can mess around with spaceships there, but I can't do it here. Okay, so we're obviously going to have just a couple of iron engines and or one iron engine rather and just a couple of booster tanks I really wish I hadn't built this here with the bots doing their I'm helping thing Oh, that's why we get a trickle. That's why we get a trickle of the spaceship floor coming back. Because it's actually the construction train that's taking stuff. Okay, construction train. You're, you're gonna go on a little vacation. You're gonna just chill over here for a while. Um, a hundred minutes, in case I forget. This bot's kick, indeed. So does that mean I can now uh, have my bots pick this up? It does. Oh, thank goodness. Banished, indeed. Um, okay. So, what would be an appropriate amount of storage? What's a 2 by chest look like? Container stress, 53. We've got 96 stacks. Oh, because we've already got some container stress from these two. That's 5. Is this, like, some easy math? 48. Yeah, it's stacks divided by 2. Uh, stacks divided by 2 plus 5, was it? 5. So we could have almost 600 stacks if we really want to. Uh, how about just one big warehouse? This is actually really similar to the spaceship design I wanted to go for for the end game. Except that's going to use antimatter engines. But, yeah, no, at this rate, maybe I'll end up basically just designing what is going to be our workhorse later on. Although it'll probably... It'll have lasers and, like, a nuclear reactor. But for this one, I just want to keep it simple. Um, we're only going to have the one spaceship going back and forth at this stage. How long does it take? So I'm going to use bots um, for loading and unloading here. Which is making me realize I might not want... Oh yeah, we're not using cargo rockets here anymore. Cool, cool, cool. We don't need all of these robo-ports. Then... Bloody-tastic. Because I do not want this to not be in its own robo-network. What's this train doing? Oh, there's no power here. Oh, because I removed a uh, pylon. A uh, pylon substation. 
Let's go put one of these lighted ones back. There you go. Can you fit rail guns on spaceships? Um, yes. Yes, you can. I don't think it would be the most efficient way to clear asteroids. Uh, but we could maybe play around with that in the editor. At the very least. I might need to do that just because, indeed. Don't care, please do it. Uh, Alright, so what's our stress look like here? Container stress? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Invalid. Uh, container stress is 261. It's actually totally fine. Um, and I don't really see any need for the ship to be big. Oh, wait, I forgot about the solar panels. Yeah, we, we definitely want as many solar panels as we can manage. Um, I think I'll make this symmetrical. Yeah, so it's that's basically going to be our like design uh, philosophy here. Just cram in as many panels as we can with three hundred hull stress. I'll just go for the flat solar panels. Whoop! I bounced off it. How many fit like this? I kind of want these to be like in the middle or something. How much whole stress are we looking at? 297.5, that's a very good. Um. Have another panel here. We do need to have input for our uh, ion stream. I think this is probably the way to go. Don't forget clamp and guns. Yeah, I've got room for the guns up here. I mean, the guns don't cost any power or anything. They're basically free. Although, I imagine they cost a little bit of hull stress. Um, 297.9. And then... And then, and then, and then, we add gun. 297.9. Are you serious? Okay, so we found the perfect way to transport ammo. It costs zero hull stress. We did it. Um, I don't think I'm going to change this much, so it's probably about time we summon some trains. So we're doing coal, iron, copper, and uranium 238. We're also looking for uh, ion stream. And we're gonna ask for the bare minimum to trigger a delivery so it doesn't get full. Um, so that would be 50, 100. Oh, Holmium Accumulators. Nice. That actually, oh, that, I forgot about that. I actually wanted to cram a bunch of accumulators onto this thing because it's such a short trip. Um that I think actually storing energy would be a pretty big deal. 
I actually experimented a little bit with even going interstellar off of accumulators. It's, um... It's technically not impossible. Just used uranium ammo for small ship before 0.6 updates, indeed. Won't you need loads and loads of ammo for the turrets? No. Um, uranium ammo is very strong. Immersite rifle ammo. That might be something to look into. Um, the gun turrets are actually really strong. And we're not going that fast. And we're going a very short distance. Turrets are actually okay for defense. Main upside not needing power. Yeah, and we're going to be bottlenecked on power. Very much so. Um, actually... Because we can't... Oh yeah, I said I was going to have the um, long arm inserters deliver to the guns. So that we don't have to pay hull stress for containers. Um, but that limits where we can put these things. Very much, actually. I guess if we have, like, a, a bit of a flatter um, base. Nope. Like this. Or maybe like this. That's not right. I can probably move all of that back a bit. Starting to get the idea. Uh, we should be able to have long arm inserters put the ammo in like this. And that way the storage of the ammo is basically free. Uh, let's get one, two, three, four, five, six more guns. And get rid of this spaceship floor. If I'm going to do a bot system that's separate from this one, um, I should probably move the spaceship up a bit. And we want the bots uh, to be as close to this container as possible. Although the stack size is only 20, so it's not going to be that difficult. Let's see what our stress, etc. looks like right now. 273, 261, that seems pretty good. Can we get some more accumulators? Yeah, I think I need to move the whole thing up a bit. Um, let's put some scaffolding like here. Roboport, and maybe a Roboport on this side as well. And it might be easiest. If I just cut, unless the bots come from down below to take it. No, we're good. 
and spaceship floor up this way. Um, that didn't go quite the way I had in mind. And paste. I actually want it a bit further forward. Two more tiles. And I paste it here. Fantastic. Can't fly inside. How dare you? What are you, my mum? And... Technically, we're wasting a little space here. Yes. Oh, no. No! Don't tell me we have exactly nine Holmium accumulators. Wait, we can make more now, though, can't we? We need Holmium cable, heavy girder, energy control unit, and regular accumulator. It's the, uh, it's the Holmium panels that we can't make yet. Let me just check the easy way if we've got everything we need right here. Huh. What do we need? Space manufacturing. And a requested chest. And we have no heavy girders here. I did bring a bunch of energy control units up. I'll put those back into the robot network. And we can just get the heavy girders delivered, right? Don't tell me I haven't put heady, uh, brought heavy girders up yet. Bruh. I literally just want one at the moment, though. <laughs> one Holmium accumulator, please. Alright, fine. I'm gonna run down and get it. Why do I have a rocket launcher? An old rocket launcher, at that. In we go. I'm just going to be super lazy right now and just grab a bunch of girders. Bring them to the mall. That's not girders. Are, are there any trains stuck at the moment? No, it looks like they're actually behaving. Looks like everything's working very well, actually. And... Plastic. Down... or up we go, I guess. My bots are flying away. Bring them back. Come to think of it, I think, uh, is it my imagination or, oh yes, oh yes, yes, yes. Um, I'm pretty sure the lag when we place new signals is dramatically reduced because we've got far fewer trains, because we've got super powered trains. Nice. That's an upshot I didn't actually see coming. Very cool. Viva K2 plus 
SE. Plus space trains. I don't think space trains is part of A2. I just remembered. Low lag game pog, indeed. That's exactly well, one of the reasons that I went with the bulk rail loader mod as well. Cool, we got our whole meme accumulators and we bounce off the spaceship. Uh, and now we have like, what? 50 times 10. We've got 500 megajoules of energy storage here. Uh, do we have a streamlined ship with this? I think we will. We have streamlined 90%. I think that's probably good enough. In order to have... There is no overkill. There is op only open fire and I need to reload. Um, gun turrets. It's also more ammo capacity, having more guns. And we'll do some... Quester chests. Uh, seven. What is helping with the UPS? Uh, so basically we got these overpowered uh mod combinations where we've got space locomotive and k2 allows us to put uh certain power armor ish things in vehicles so it turns out we can put uh additional electric engines in the locomotives in order to buff their speed uh, and not only does it buff their speed, but as I hoped, it actually effectively makes them way more fuel efficient. Because you get acceleration at the cost of electricity here. Uh, and normally you pay fuel for acceleration. You do still have to pay fuel for, uh, for acceleration, but now you're getting a bunch of it from this. Um, but yeah, the... The trains are very fast, um, as you can kind of see here, but not really because it was slowing down to get into the depot. Where do we have a train in motion? Here we go. This will be a good example, I think. Um, yeah, we've got some, some rather fast trains, which means we need far fewer trains, which means when we place or remove signals... And it forces every single train in the game to repath no matter what surface it's on. Uh, we have a lot less of that repathing to do. Which is another big win. Noxyway Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, apparently you can't shift right click, shift left click turrets with ammo. I guess that's not that surprising. Um, I only want to put a little bit at a time in each chest to make sure that if there's some kind of shortage, um, each gun will get some ammo. Do you know how many trains you have removed so far? Uh, well, we had... We had 70-something trains when I look at Hagen and click this button. Uh, now we've got 47. Um, and that includes all of these trains here, which are one train, one resource to go up the space elevator. These are the trains where we're actually bottlenecked on the production end. Probably, for example, because we haven't actually produced any uh, rocket tech cards yet, because I haven't set up the satellite telemetry, because we've still got, let's see, uh, we've still got 34,000 rocket tech cards from before up here. Nice, indeed. How did you replace all the station 
stack limits. Uh, do you mean like, like this? This needs to be a hundred as opposed to eighty. Um, I haven't got some procedural way to do it. I've, I started going across the top of this list earlier today. Um, I've got literally hundreds of them to make sure they're updated. Um, it's just, it's going to be some off-stream, some off-stream Factorio. Um, but yeah, the search factory tool is very helpful for that. You can search for entity to find something that's actually placed. I'll, if it weren't for that, I would be trying to, like, just go left to right, top to bottom, and hope I don't miss anything. I don't think that would be a good way to do it. Um, but yeah, it sorts all of these things by distance. It's very handy when you're looking for, for example, copper ore on the ground. Um, it'll start the search. Uh, it, it'll distance it from where I am right now, I think. Sounds a bit painful, but I might have to install that search mod when I get to space trains, yeah. My recommendation, if I could go back in time, would be just start it with the bigger provide stack thresholds and request stack thresholds and so on. Like, just even when you have the smaller trains, set larger thresholds. Because it won't do any harm to have the bigger ones to start with, except that there'll be extra resources sitting around in each station. Um, but yeah, this is this is very useful to say the least. Um, but that said, like I keep finding myself for various reasons setting extra high um, provide and request thresholds anyway because. Trying to set these things up so that short or long trains can pick up from a station. Uh, I ended up settling on just making it unconditional to push from the back cargo wagon to the front one. Which means I just set the threshold high enough that even though while the train is here, it's pushing stuff from here to here. Uh, it's not enough to make it fail to get fully loaded. Um, on top of that, we've been having some weird behavior. Like, at this station, I set the provide threshold to 60k for the Pyroflux, but a train kept coming here to pick up 50k. Uh, no, it kept coming here to pick up 60k when there was only 50k, and then it would be waiting. And I don't know why. The request threshold somewhere might be 50k, but I don't think that should make any difference. Although it would make sense. If that was the cause, it would make sense with the timing of when we've seen this weird behavior. So maybe once I go through and change everything, uh, we'll stop seeing stuff like that. Stabilized my Iridium ingots at 1300 a minute. Nice. Alright, um, we need to... 100, 100. We need to summon this stuff to our station. Um, and it's just gonna be... I'm going to be a bit lazy with the name of the requester here. Spaceship requester. Um, and that should be it. We'll put our pumps here like we often do. And some underground, not undergrounds, some pipes like this. Um, apparently I don't have the space pipes on me. Let's get, let's allow the construction train to visit.
and the iron stream is already here. And we'll have a passive provider chest. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stacks of uranium is what we can load at once. I'll allow like ten stacks to accumulate. Where's our train? Oh no. Oh no. The construction train can't get here because there's already a traffic jam of four trains waiting to drop off. Alright, that'll probably be fine. Actually, no, it won't. Uh, construction train, I, I need you to wait out of range again. Because I can't trust you with uh, with not messing around with what I'm trying to do. Is this? Oh, this is busted. There we go. Only 100? Do I even want to know how many centrifuges that requires? Indeed. Uh, alright, so that should be everything we need to make ammo. Uh, it looks like it is actually. Fantastic. Uh, and now we just need 50 Logibots. No more, no less. Uh, and we need our ion stream to find its way in here. It's going to be nice and symmetrical, actually. Kind of space pipe are we going to use here? Let's grab some 15s. Actually, I think I want a pump over this way, just so we load it a bit quicker. I could put the pump here. I probably should. Even though we don't need that much iron stream. Always best to set it up so that the uh, the fuel will get loaded as quickly as possible. I could even put another container here if I was really serious. We need some 15s and some whatever else. Maybe some 9s. Maybe some. That's perfect. That is perfect. Unfortunately, this side isn't as symmetrical. In that case, I'll do some undergrounds. One could be fooled into thinking that's the same on both sides. And some undergrounds here. And let's get our construction train back. Park yourself over here, please. Chem plants without K2 is nuts, 135 normal chem plants. Indeed. Yeah, I definitely... Uh, last playthrough, I really wished I had the super big... Um, you know, super, super big, super strong assembly machines like in space, but on the ground. Um, so that I could just reduce the count of machines, assemblers, etc.
All right, we should probably... Probably go a bit faster with the ammo. Oh, is it only going to put in 11? 10 or 11 each? Ooh. I thought it would put in a whole stack. Well, that makes me really glad I've got seven guns here. I think it's still going to be enough for this short trip. Um, but I think for testing it, I will give myself some lasers. Um, and it might be a good idea to make some better ones. Later you can put space machines on space floor on the ground. Yeah, it's kind of cheesy though. Just on the spacesuit. Uh, what am I gonna... I need Immersium Plate. And the rest is fairly easy. Lithium Sulfur Battery, Immersium Plate, and Battery. We have a Mercium plate here, right? That's what that is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll let this thing make some more ammo. Oh god, my, my speed. Oh no. Oh no. Let this thing make some more ammo. And come to think of it, I can wear the power armor. Um, while I'm in the spaceship, so there's no need to shuffle this stuff around. Okay, let's go s grab some Immersium Plate, make a bunch of personal lasers. How many power things have I got? Two? That's probably pretty sensible. And I'll actually double check that we've got fuel in them. Even though it would be very weird if that had run out. Oh, I fell. Oh, no. Um, let me see. We've got 49 and 49. Yeah, I don't think we're running out of fuel anytime soon. You see some warehouses on the right? Do they count toward the surface limit? Surface limit. Think you need some taxi? I kind of do have a taxi. This thing that brings various stuff back to the mall, I can summon it at will. I can handcraft these, right? Just need some batteries and some batteries. Give to me various batteries. Wasn't I carrying personal SMG laser defense a second ago? What just happened? Uh, all surfaces. Yeah, it's literally just here. What? How did this happen? Oh well. Cool, I can make a Mark III. And how much power does the Mark III need? Max consumption, 9 megawatts. Wow. Uh, where did my power armor go? Are you serious right now? Oh no. Where's my power armor? Come to think of it, don't we have the tech to make power armor Mark II? Uh, we do not. Or, or can we research it? I think I was putting it off. Equipment grid size 10 by 10. 
as opposed to 8 by 8 it's a marginal improvement I don't think I can be bothered well I'll want to research this eventually anyway oh it has radioactive resistance how nice Inventory size bonus is 40. That alone might be worth the trouble. Having the same inventory size bonus as the thruster suit. Power armor. It's only material and energy one. And optimization tech cards. Anyway, where did I put my power armor? Or where was it taken from me, rather? Okay, so we have 2.4, 4.8 megawatts. So with a Mark III personal SMG, we're actually already bottlenecking on the one laser. Um, okay then. Damage, 72. Damage 48 for 6.3. 15 plus 21 is 36. 36 times less than 3. Versus... What, what's 72 over 36? Is 2. It's double. Uh, and this is... 3.6 times 2 is... Yeah, that's going to be... It's definitely more efficient. Pretty sure that your PC will die before you reach that. What are you talking about? Uh, awesome. Good to see you again. You're welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What is difference by side one? Side one. Oh. We're looking at Andy gaming stuff. Fair enough. Uh, should I ever... So it's more power efficient. Um, but do I... Is it actually better if I, like... Would it actually potentially be better if... I could keep up with the power. What if I do three of these? 2.4 times 3? Uh, 7.2 mega. I'd have to fill this to support one Mark III laser. Bruh. I kind of jumped the gun making this laser, I think. It would probably be better if I just had a personal SMG laser defense um, that I could fire continuously. Arcospheres refuse to go faster? Have you tried painting them red? On the other hand, the asteroids are going to be a little bit bursty, right? It's not like when you're lasering a sea of biters. I think this will probably be fine. Okay. Um, let's put this away so that my inventory doesn't explode. And... Um, I guess we're just going to have the one laser. Yeah, it charges a bit slowly. I could go three of these. I think I probably should. And some batteries? Do we have any of those lying around? Big personal batteries, we do. I want three of them. 
So those can do one megawatt each output. So that's three plus 7.2. That is enough to at least temporarily run this thing properly. All of this just for one personal laser sub submachine gun, the Mark III. So this is just so I have a backup in case I run out of ammo. Uh, I guess I'll carry some ammo as well, but obviously this is a little, a little bit of uh, safety. Thirty megajoules, ninety megajoules. If it's ninety megawatt or nine megawatt. Isn't that like three, six, nine seconds of running this thing? That's not bad. That should be more than enough, actually. My inventory is too full. No, it's not. I don't know why I have four uranium fuel cells here, but I'll take them, I guess. And that's our laser backup. For testing our ship. Alright, let's go make it happen. Ach... Ach... Ach Kale? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What mod is the item finder one? It is called Search Factory, I believe. Or oh, Factory Search. Yeah, it's Factory Search. So those words, but in the correct order. Oh, I was carrying big personal batteries all along. Um, I don't think I need to be doing that, actually. I think that's a bit of a waste of a uh, waste of inventory at the moment. Whoopsie daisy. All right, let's go fly a spaceship. So all we need to do to utilize bots uh, to load and unload spaceship is on the receiving end, we just have a requester chest that it takes from buffer chests. Uh, it does have to be a buffer chest for the spaceship. And at the pickup end, we need to have um, basically like storage or, or passive providers or something. Um, but to, the trick is to tell when the ship is actually loaded because Uh, if you want a generic ship, that is. If you want to be able to set requests here, you won't be able to... Um, you won't be able to read contents directly. So what you do instead is set requests on the buffer warehouse. Um, and you have a small robot network where you can control everything. Uh, and you basically just deduce by math... Uh, you read from the robot network how much, for example, copper core fragments there are, and you read directly from the all of the other chests that could contain copper core fragments, and then you just subtract that from the robot network and you know how many is in the spaceship. I'm going to carry some extra ammo here. I'm going to put on power armor with personal laser defense, and we are... Ooh, hull stress 297, perfect. Uh, we are going to go on a little jaunt over to Muir. And we're already loaded up on Iron Stream. Fantastic. Muir Orbit, to be precise. Let's see how this thing handles. Save before launch? What for? What could possibly go wrong? I 
if you go really go hard on spaceships, I could see you getting somewhat close. Oh, here we go. E yikes. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, stop. Zero, zero, zero. Oh god, oh god, stop, stop the spaceship. Stop the spaceship. I did not think it I, I didn't think it would go that fast. Wow. Okay. 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 It already used ten percent of its fuel? Really? Um our target speed should be a smaller number. Why, when I tried to type in here, did it not? Okay, let's just go five. I'm surprised how f I guess we were burning through our accumulator charge. When it launches, it uses some? Yeah, but to launch from orbit, uh, it's not much, right? Maybe they changed it. Okay. How fast did we end up going? Bit 60? Okay, that is a lot faster than I thought. I guess it because we were going through the accumulator charge, that's why that happened. Um, I'm also surprised just how much power we've got. I, I thought the... I thought the ion engine would be struggling the whole time. I guess I didn't do the math. Um, but yeah, so we're obviously safe enough at this speed. Um, let's try going a little bit faster. I also want to get a feel for how much ammo we've got. I don't think the ammo is going to be enough. Like, I can, I can put ammo in myself, but without a container is what I mean. Which would add hull stress, which means... We wouldn't be able to have this big container. We'd have to break it up a bit. Um, let's go 10. Engine is bonking. It's disabled by script because I don't want us to go extra fast. All right, how far are we now? What's our ETA? Uh... 15 or 16 minutes at this speed. But it's not having any trouble. I think we were getting a lot more space rocks thrown at us arbitrarily because we were going fast. Okay, tell you what, let's go back to... Hagen Orbit. And we'll repair... Uh, rearm... And I want to see from scratch how far we get without ammo and stuff at a certain speed. We can probably go a bit faster than this, though. Veldak made a... <laughs> oh, no. I guess that is content. Okay. Just tuning in, starting your space truck shipping? Uh, kind of. This is our only spaceship, so... It's not, uh, we're not scaling it up or anything. Alright, 50 seconds till we get back. Um, but yeah, I want to get a feel for how much ammo it takes to go to Muir and back. I think we are going to have to add containers over here. This one's down to two. Um, the DPS is obviously decent enough as long as we don't go too fast. I am very surprised at having enough power. Maybe I should just go for lasers. Um, how much electricity do we have? 4.2. Uh, I, I wish it would just tell us what our maximum that we're producing is. Um, let's do the math here. We're in Hagen orbit, so that's as bad as it's going to get. 
Uh, 460 times 6. Uh, 2760 plus 920 times 2. Let's just bracket it. Uh, 920 times 2. Uh, 4.6 megawatt. So... We've actually got, like, four and a bit megawatt spare when the ion engine isn't doing anything. Uh, laser turret with this mod. We could afford one laser turret. I think we'll do that. Let's anchor. And I haven't set up a clamp yet, but... I think we can figure out where it fits. Probably should put an anchor in while we're at it. And this is the part where we find out that the anchor doesn't line up where we want. It's one off. I could put an anchor back here, I guess. I think I will do that. Um, where's my spaceship pull? There we go. Anchor. And anchor. And... Just ID1, ID1. That's probably fine. Uh, and we obviously want to repair this. I'm not carrying any repair packs right now. Gimme, gimme. Oh, I have my power armor on. Oops. Where be repair? Oh, I landed right on top of them. Give me those repair packs. Let me in. Okay, let's try that again. One more time before we finish today. So we are going to Mira Orbit. I forgot to do an integrity check. I guess it forced it. Hull stress 300 exactly. And I'll hang back unless and until I see rocks uh, potentially getting through. The laser is doing everything. Because the laser's got more range. So the gun turrets are just like a backup at this point. It doesn't look like we're having any difficulty power-wise. I'm really surprised at just how well this is working out power-wise. Uh, we could definitely go faster. It would cost ammo, but we could go faster. So, at this speed, we're looking at considerably less than 10 minutes. And hopefully not running out of ammo. See how much ammo we have left by the time we get there. Glad I'm past this stage. My ship moves at 150. That's a start. Did you visit Foenestra yet? I don't think I can visit Foenestra yet. Like, can I find Foenestra just by spamming a uh, regular zone discovery? Or do I have to meet certain milestones before it can be found? I don't remember how I found it before, whether it was just literally more zone discovery. Aquium solar panels and accumulators to pimp my scout ship. <laughs> Might be deep space discovery or whatever it's called. Yeah, probably is. 
need the tier 3 research. Yeah, that's about what I expected. Alright. How much ammo do we have? Quite a bit. I mean, the safe thing would be just to set it to not go fast enough to use the ammo. But as long as it's not even half empty, or as long as it's not even like a quarter empty, uh, if we started with 10 mags in each. Yeah, if we get to Muir and we've got like seven and a half ish mags left uh i think even with the variants of asteroids i think we're safe to include that'll be consistent yeah i think we're good As for fuel, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Looking good. Alright, I might have a peek and see who we're going to raid today. Oh, Diablo's streaming. In before he's finishing right now. Uh, that seems fine. I think it's been a minute since I raided Diablo. Probably drop in on him today. But first, uh, I definitely want to see how, how much ammo we've got left before we get to Muir. Also, I probably should have turned off my Robopot. I don't think we got any scratches while I wasn't looking, but... Uh... Well, come to think of it, I should have been wearing this just in case. What book did you bring on long, lonely interplanetary travels? Uh, the Foundation series. And some Kyphus Cain. I think we're going to be fine. Um, it's going to be a little close for that very careful margin that I had in mind. But I think that's okay. Bring the Bobiverse series, that's not bad either. Annex Demon, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Yeah, I think we are golden. Uh, one minute left. We are down to seven. So... It's looking like, worst case, the gun in the middle on the right. Uh, we could do, like, this trip and back, plus 50% before we run out of ammo. Give or take. The Expanse? I've heard that's good. I haven't actually um, read the book. Ray Porter's such a good narrator. I heard, um, or I think I heard some of it for myself. The, uh... For some reason, they redid the first book or parts of it, and some of the voices were just like, what have you done? It was good already. But yeah, generally it was pretty good. The books in the series are amazing, indeed. Might have to see if I can find, find that one. Alright, we are here. And we have, like, two-thirds of our ammo left on the gun that's lowest in ammo. I think this will be fine. Let's head back to Hagen Orbit. And I'll come back with actual stuff to start building over here next time. 
like how they implemented real physics into the Expanse. Yeah, I want more of that. Herbal Space Program has ruined me for appreciating space fiction a lot of the time. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, I think let's drop in on the old Diablo. For example, you have to turn ship around and burn to slow down. Yeah, unless you've got rockets facing the other way, and that adds mass, which... Not so efficient. It's gonna make all of your burns cost more. The Expanse is good, though. I've been reading The Wheel of Time and The Inheritance Cycle. Both good books as well, indeed. It's not strictly space stuff. Well, not all of it. Uh, short Asimov stories, I was just remembering. The last question is probably one of my favorites. Uh, anyway, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or the Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. Uh, tomorrow we'll be continuing with Space Exploration and K2. So we'll be going to Miwa to set up copper core fragments, and we'll be using this spaceship uh, to go there and back. I'm going to set up a space elevator here. I'm pretty sure we can afford to pay for it. And uh, thank you very much for the follow. Oh, I don't know what that was, actually. If it was a follow, whatever it was, thank you. I can't see it because I had a bug earlier with OBS. I'm sorry. Take care, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Seven. See, this is why I don't like it. Two, four, six, seven. Yeah. Bah. Hey, Mr. Tyrannosaurus.